They get Mario, no R and B Mario. Oh singing. my god! I'm thinking we're back home. Let me send my man a couple of drinks. I sent him two bottles. You sent Mario bottles. Sent Mario bottles. <laughs> <laughs> hey Mario, hold up. Wait, hold on. You see how you buddy young? You see if you played Let Me Love You Now, you'd have a girlfriend. You <laughs> shut up. Anyway, let me just. I'm sick of this. Two thousand and one. Phil Jones is out there. Oh my god, this is the weirdest room ever. <laughs> yeah. So my point is. Oh yes! No! <laughs> Welcome to Filthy Fellas. Yes, he's a filthy fella. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs>
He's, he's covering 40k. He's clamping, man. And he's probably going to score. It's just if he wanted to do it, like football and athletics is just too easy to him. The man plays tennis after football. Like, do you know what I mean? He left Watford and then because we got relegated, he was obviously somewhat clicked. He got Villarreal, won Europa League. Europa League, yeah. Then he got to the then he got to the Champions League semi final. You can't just do that, like. Ah, he shouldn't have gone Tottenham. Tottenham. You know what I mean? Tottenham made him lose the love. He was at Spurs. <laughs> yeah, he <laughs> did to a lot of players. So certain man loved the lifestyle in it. And the key point of you, I don't know why they keep pointing at you. I don't, I don't know, know why what's they going on. That, bro. I feel like you need to defend yourself. What's up, dude? Nah, man. You know what it is? I just like Gyal. That's my problem. <laughs> <laughs> These men don't like Gyal. <laughs> a lot of footballers don't like Gyal. <laughs> I feel like, if, you, I feel like if, you, if you're at the top level, you can't like Gyal. You know some like, some that's love. A good, that's a good narrative. <laughs> You was at the top level. I heard you don't like Gyal. <laughs> <laughs> some like Gyal. Some, some, yeah. There's, there's a man that like too much Gyal. Yeah, too much Gyal. Yeah, too much Gyal. Too much Gyal. The the best players. Grealish. Can't, you can't you, you can't love you can't love Gyal like you can't. You think do you're it. the most haunted football player? I'm the most haunted football. Nah, I'm, bro. Ski, I need to, I need, think I need to hear some more research on this because yeah, it's, no, ba- it's based he's done on no what? Yeah, show your workings up. Based on show what? Show your workings up. Yeah. All of, all of the guys at the top level have wives, except for. Except for son, and that son doesn't have a wife. That's why he dropped. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he couldn't hack it. <laughs> you know what? Okay. I hear it still. You have to like if you ain't got a wife, you're gonna be out. If you need that stability, like Harry Kane's got stability. Certain yeah. footballers are outside, and when they got a wife, man. still <laughs> wife and a girlfriend. No, the man could even take it outside of England. Ronaldinho, yeah. these man, but I were outside. Just remember. I, yeah, but remember no, that but story I told you about Vegas when I saw them, man? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So I went to Vegas, yeah, about 2014, 15. We're on the table, just me and my boy from home, chilling, where, where? Guy goes, ah, oh, can't go over that side because it's boxed off. Mm-hmm. I'm saying there's eight, you know, the Kabada things. Like, yeah. man, what do you mean, can't go over there, bro? I'm here, like, you know, I'm thinking I'm the man, innit? Like, <laughs> we paid, paid our little three quid for this. Like, I want to go where I want. It's nah, nah, two Brazilian guys over there. You can't go over there, bro. The two Brazilian guys you talk about was Neymar Jr. and Ronaldinho. That's a crew. Neymar and Ronaldinho yeah, rode together. They got, they got um, just put up at it because they were playing poker. Yeah. So they were there. Not, bro, the ratio was one to 20. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. Yeah. I've never seen that. Didn't you see my, didn't you see my New Year's party? It was like one, it was one to 30. Yeah, but some of them can. One to 30. But you know what the standard I'm talking yeah, about yeah, as well? Yeah. You have to stand there just. Nah, my thing's, oh, not, no. my thing's not standard still. We're, we're playing in them bubbly pitches. <laughs> <laughs> like you're, you're, you're controlling the ball with your yeah. shin and it's, <laughs> it's an open child. Bro, you can have the child. best touch. You're controlling it with your shin <laughs> by force. This is an important thing, just get off the table early doors. He's wearing an Arsenal tracksuit. He messaged the group earlier and said, "Everyone who's got Arsenal stuff, please wear it I because that. we want to look try and intimidate." And no, I was already out the house. I was already out the house. I was already out the house. No, you wasn't. What? But I sent this at eight Saturday a.m. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you weren't because that's what time I messaged him. I was like, See? "Bro, I'm in the no, gym." I'm it's... like, "Yo, I swear we're doing this today." I live in Birmingham, remember? So I'm like, "Bro, where am I going?" What time? That's where we do it. He texts me back at like 10, so I like. I had to FaceTime the Utes, man. He was still putting on his jumper. It's a big jumper. (laughs) 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 He was putting on his jumper. I hear you. (laughs) (laughs) No, so. He's got trying to Im- intimidate me, bro. Nah, I got a man that's a defender. No, man. I can you defend him? Yeah, yeah, scared, yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear that. But what, let's talk Arsenal. For Where a does bit it come though, from? Please, because I feel like, as a Birmingham City fan, maybe it came from Eduardo, or maybe no. it came from the League Cup final. No. Where Where does Troy Deeney versus Arsenal begin? Just one, just one comment. Just the one corners. comment. No, about but that, no, but you know what I need to what? ask you? Please. Why did why was you in the studio? <laughs> <laughs> why, I see, no, let me ask. Let me ask. Because I, I see him in there, tracks. Yeah, was, that's important. Was he even mic'd? I'm seeing it like, bro, yeah, is he yeah. in there off the no, rip? So comfortable. So what happens yeah, after games, you get 20 minutes. Yeah. So you gotta have so you know like your match of day interviews. Yeah, you always yeah, see yeah, bad yeah. coming out and they're sweating. So you've got a 20 minute window from when Whistle blows to get those interviews done. Media, media. Yeah, the, media. No, but those initial ones. Yeah. So I did those and then come back in and they're like, BT, weren't you? But this is BT's first time. And then I'm like, yeah, we just did them all. And they're like, nah, nah, over there in the studio. But the club now going, we want you in tracksuit because we just got the Adidas suit. Okay. So it's a quick shower, fly over there. Anyway, go over there. 
I don't even know who was in the studio. Even to this day, who, was, who else was in there? That's a good question, you know. You've got here, uh, yeah, Robbie Savage, Mike Keown. Oh, Jake there you Humphrey, go. Good. So. Yeah, so anyway, they asked the question, but the worst part about it is, bro, I swear to God, I'm not lying. I watched Sopranos, at it? Yeah. So <laughs> The best show of all time, I Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, top, oh it's top five, dude. it's top five. So I've top got- five? I've got it in my head, yeah. You know, someone asked you a question, you think about it. I was going to swear, yeah. but then I thought, oh, I can swear I just said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've got, oh, like, <laughs> I'm on BT, so yeah. can't swear. So I'm thinking of a word. Basically, I went to say they shit themselves at it. That's what I wanted to say. Yeah. And I'm thinking, and all I'm thinking in my head is Soprano, Soprano, Sopranos, because we've been in the hotel from the day before. Yeah. So that's what I've been watching. So cojones come out. Swear to God, in my life, yeah, I've never used that word before. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never used it after. I don't know where it came from, bro. It just came out. Nah, and that, that, was, was, and that was a moment it. in history, that bro. Was it, that it was a moment in history. And you know what, as well, funny that, you know, uh, you know troops and them that. Yeah. We was at a FIFA launch a couple of days before and I took my son. So when we're coming back on the train now, they was like, got you on the weekend, very rare. And I was like, bro, we're gonna beat you, man. And they were like, what do you mean? I went, friggin' that tall guy at the back, he can't deal with me. It was on about motorcycle. And I was like, you can't deal with me. Exactly. And then that, I came that, off the bench, and then we do what we do, we win. I get in my car, this is how like, stupid I was at it. I get in my car, I've got the kids in the car, I'm driving past his air, filming it, windows down, just stopped in the middle of the road. I told ya, I told ya. Yeah, yeah. I really thought everyone's watching BT. So now when you see it, that's where I think the rivalry's You're gone because I'm them like, now. I'm yeah. shouting at them now. Yeah. Like, I, I told you it was gonna happen. I remember, I think it was the season after yeah. we beat you lot. I think we'd, we'd done you lot pretty bad. And then bro- I missed the pen. It was, yeah. Yes, yeah, yeah, bro. Yeah, free, yeah, yeah. free, free, free deal? I think it was 3 now, yeah. yeah. Bro, three that was G. That felt so good. <laughs> that felt so good, bro. It felt like bullying as well, because you went for Hector Bellerin, who had been on loan at Watford. That's my guy, well. man. Yeah, that's what I thought. Guy. It was yeah, like... Yeah. That's why I was like, that hair's got in his face. You turned you turn him to a vegan. <laughs> you turned him vegan. You don't even eat, he, yeah. Might as well plant trees, though. He's been plant-based ever since. We know, we know Hecky, yeah, we know, Hecky's a good guy. But he was already on his way there anyway. <laughs> let's, let's, be, let's keep it as it is. <laughs> Job. He you. was already on his way. He said certain certain sandals. You're turning up to the training yeah. ground with. But Joey, was that like a game you felt out for? Like your Arsenal? We know a after after that after that I did yeah because it became. You so know before it was? that there was there was nothing. It was it's just, just a normal game. game. It's just Arsenal. They're just sick. Even though their training it, ground had been near yours. Bro, well, yeah, next so the road, isn't it? it's literally so it's a next turn. So they back onto each other. So yeah, you, yeah, we yeah. do this turn. They go fifty yards more. They do that turn. So you don't see each other more time, bro. Let me told this story before. I got to the NBA, I told you this story. We got to the NBA, my, my boy that's always with me, this, the white boy, he's my, my best friend, man. But it's class. we just, we just, wherever we go, as you know, I just roll light at it. Yeah, yeah. One, two, man, I don't, I'm not here, I'm badness, I'm just Troy at it. Go to the NBA. The whole Arsenal team's there. This is about two, three months after I've said this comment. So, but they're, you know when they're like watching because they think I'm over that side. Yeah. And I can see when people have got issues. So I'm like, I said, yo, come on, let's go. It's like, where are we going? I said, no, nah, we're going to go ask him what's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I remember that. Like, nah, Kashani and them. No, what? Well, no, wait. Was it the Knicks game? T? It was a, it was a, it was it. <laughs> Is it the game? Was it the Knicks? Where Obama Young and Lacazette and like were, wearing, said, were wearing with the spikes on their shoes. I was at that game. <laughs> Possibly. There, there was about 12 of them in yeah, it. Yeah, Holden was there. Like oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. there's loads of them. There's about 12 Random, of them. Just, so yeah. I've just gone to my boy. I've just gone like, come, I'm not having this. Because I'm thinking, I'm trying to watch the game. But then, you know, we're from where we're from. And I can't let you think you're out staring me or like I'm intimidated. So Trust let's, me, I know. let's go. So we walk around. You good? They're like, yes, Troy, you okay? <laughs> <laughs> That's why they had to go. I'm not gonna lie, I know, I, I, I know whose voice that was as well, but I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna leave it. Hey, what's, 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 what they did, yeah, they left nah, and told the yeah. FA, innit? They told the FA, I know they told the FA. <laughs> <laughs> and, I just, and I just said like, yo, you heard what I said. What person, was about that game. You had any problems, I'm sat there, there's just two of us come and chat, innit? And then that was it. No matter where I go, yeah, I'm not a bad man. And I'll say that I'm, I'm Troy. You was a bad man once, Little I remember. Little bit of a bad man. You was a bad man once. Not even that, bro. I got, I got, I got, fo I got we'll phone back calls. To <laughs> I got phone calls. We'll come back to that, though. I got phone calls, boy. But at least it didn't hurt as much as the other fans. <laughs> remember when we walked out, we lost to Man City. Oh, and wow. we've come to the fans and they're just there. Mm -hmm. They didn't even know what, when they saw you, they shit the bed. They didn't even know what to say to you. So we've come out the ground. <laughs> 
I don't know why you wanted to go to Arsenal fan TV. You're like, can we go? Can we go? Because there's, there's someone. For, I said earlier, this after the City game. After this the City is, game, this, lost this three season. So we go this season. Got a box of that, and then obviously invited Poe and, and Specs. They came down, and uh, a friend of mine who you know very well stuck it on that tire, did it? They stuck it on a few. Do you lot start stuck in a few people? You can't stick it on tire, man. Yeah, you got to let tire land, man. Let tire land. I let him. I let him land like for three years. <laughs> 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 I've been hearing the I've been, I've been hearing it. I've seen the clips. I'm getting at it. I see it all. And I'm like, okay, okay, okay. And then it was about a year ago, randomly. It kind of died. And then a year ago, we just went, brought my name up again. I'm like, bro, like. I don't like you. Great, you, great and, you, you and Mo, Mope, Neil Mope. Yeah. Don't bro, like you, bro, man. The, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, hope the I, go down. This, this, I hate you. The guy's about like 50. 50 years Saturn, old. yeah. Like. Always walk around in Arsenal Trekkie. No disrespect, my guy. <laughs> but, <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? I've got a similar airline to <laughs> But what I'm saying is like, you live and breathe Arsenal, I get it. But even Arsenal players think you're a d Like, they do. Because I've spoke to them about it. So relax. Jeez, chill. Bread. Oh, Troy, Troy, you're, nah, you're you're not, no, I hear it. Now. Now. No, I don't you've care. Because, do you know what it is with me? Again, you're killing respect. him now. Nah, it's I, about I hear respect, that. bro. I hear so if you want to come back about the Arsenal comment, no problem. But then you're continuing it for three years because you know why? You're irrelevant. And that's fine. Be irrelevant, but don't be irrelevant off my name. One thing we've established is Troy Deeney keeps a list. Yes. Who's next no, on the list? I, I personally f with that. Yeah, who's next? I don't, I don't really, next? you know what? I don't really keep a list. I just see what everyone does. And then it's like their action. So we'll talk about you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's <laughs> let's, 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 we, need to, we need to segue into this. Let's get into this, man. Finally, we let's get Let's go. This. Before, before we Wait. get into it. Go, 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 go. You got, you got, you yeah, got, all right. Paint the, paint the scene. So there, so we did an episode of Filthy. Uh, Troy Deeney was in the process of bullying Arsenal. Yeah. Um, there was a whole section about Troy because it was like this guy's like roughing people up in football. Like it's mad. Um, the Arsenal fans took it very personally. They they made loads of jokes. Yeah. And there were some jokes aimed at Troy Deeney that were a bit below the belt. Yeah. I'm at Anthony Joshua versus. Um, Pavekin. Was that Wembley? Wembley? Yeah, was that Wembley? Yeah, was that Pavekin? Uh, no, nah, it was before that. Brazil? But I'm there with Steve O and Adam McCola. Yeah. Obviously, Adam from Brum, big Trodini fan. Steve O, Steve O, big Trodini fan. I know, I know Steve O since, you know, RIP Marvin, like Morgan, but I know Steve O from um, Fresh Ego Kid, and it was in the other warehouse in Watford, and Steve O was doing the Snapchat. He's the first person that introduced me to Snapchat, because I was like, what's this? He's the first person that introduced me to Snapchat, him to Snapchat. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> he might so introduce Snapchat, that's, Snapchat that's, to Snapchat. That's how I know Steve O. And Steve O's good peoples, man. I know you like know him better than me, but whenever I catch up with him, it's oh, always just energy. But he goes over to Troy to do some snapping, and Troy's like, I heard you lot were making fun of me, because I'm guessing your friend no, told you. No, see, this is where you missed it. Steve O said, Say something about Miles. Oh, oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And yeah, I, yeah. and okay. I was like, oh, but I don't know him. And he was like, yeah, but it's coming for you. Just do so. We're going to use it on the show. Yeah, yeah. So we did. Like oh. to me, it was just, all right, cool. I was like, what's he said? He said something about Matif. I was like, oh, say something about Matif. I'll knock about your head. Ramting, 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 nah, ramting. But Joey, the way he said it was like. Yeah, I'm gonna knock you no, out. When Brum man threatened, yeah, he was at boxing. Let them land, <laughs> in it. He was at the boxing. I was just like, yeah. he's because the the way he he positioned it was this was just gonna be for the show. I didn't really know too much about the show. I knew obviously about you lot, but I didn't know much about the show. So I thought, ah, oh, he's a comedy thing. It must be like a sketch. So I was like, all right, leave it, bro. When I say the way this thing blew up, bro, bro, wasn't it? Are you rubbing it a little bit? You did oh, rub it. it. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. But, but listen, this but way there's, there's two twists. I'll, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. The my first answer. twist is Miles never said anything. It was all specs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's shit. the first twist. That's how specs ain't here today. <laughs> I look at his face. He's just like a guy that's got bare dogs. You know what I mean? I like guys like that. <laughs> well, what do you mean, like? Because yeah, he looks like he's got dogs. I looked at um, um, Troy Deeney. Tooth was mad, fam. <laughs> Tooth is twist. It, him and Poet's got the same dentist. Miles, I see you, innit? Don't worry. <laughs> I've got the cookie tea for that, but I still bang you out, innit? Remember that. <laughs> yes! But Specs did start it. Specs did start it. But on a, on a, on a, on a big growth thing, I will apologise, then, if you didn't do that, because I am. It's too late to say sorry now, nah, nah, nah. Can't backtrack. <laughs> Why backtracking? Why no backtrack? 
So I trained in his scared of miles, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Let him finish the story, then we'll go around. <laughs> hey, try, hey, try, try. <laughs> Mouse, He's bringing it land. on. Let Miles land, though. He's trying to draw us let out. Me land, let me land. The second twist is the episode comes out, the AJ fight, and then Poet releases a boot with Puma, a football oh, boot. sugar. And there's a launch yes. party. And we're all in there, and everyone's having a good time. And then we get a message Troy's outside. Yeah, because Troy Miles, tells me I'm coming. Yeah, we find Miles in the toilet hiding. No, 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 way, no, Miles, way, no, way, no, I'll, 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 no, Can I tell my version of the story? Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. You were down in the mixed area. Yeah. You found out Troy was coming. And you came upstairs. <laughs> he was upstairs. No, he came no, he up wasn't. after. He, he wasn't, wasn't he wasn't. I was downstairs. He was I was down, he was at the back of me and it was me. Oh, see, he he wasn't. Just, are you just baiting off his name like that? I didn't even say his name. I'm sorry, bro. They, they made you bait again. Do you know what's funny? You know what's funny? We'll walk out, we'll walk out, we'll out. You know what's funny about that? The whole night, I'm vibes and everyone, everyone's, and everyone knows the banter now between me and Troy Dini. Troy, Troy Dini's coming. Like, ha, ha. After a while, like, everyone kept saying it to me. It's like boring, isn't it? It's boring. Yeah. All right, cool, 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 cool. Yo, Troy Dini's coming. All right, cool. Then I turn around, Troy Dini's at the bar. So I said, oh. It's <laughs> on, it's on, it's on. These times you're alone. Tigo's, Tigo's not around in that. <laughs> he came upstairs. He, he, bro, remember, he's playing Prem, he's playing pool. He's, he's stacked, he's. I'll let you land, I'm going upstairs, bro. The man then, bro. So I look up, I look up and I see Tigo. And Tigo's like. <laughs> I'm laughing, he's I'm like, laughing. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, one sec, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't invite him, I didn't invite him. Went upstairs and then. And yeah, then Troy came up and Troy was laughing and we took and obviously we take the picture and then there's a round two of the whole What was the first Troy What was the first thing you said to Troy? I can't, I can't even remember man. But I, no, I, I said so and I said hello. Yeah, I yeah. said hello. He was, he, he was in charge of the situation. But prior before all that. Like a Z voice, isn't it? No, 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 Troy, Troy. I got you back, bro. I'm still a man. Still a man. You learned, bro. No, 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 no. You lot might carol, but no, 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 no. I've had guys pull up on me and I didn't right, carol. Right, so. right, Miles, right. Miles ain't having it. My, Miles don't care. Anyone pulls up on him. He's saying, bro, my head's thin. You ain't going to bang me anyway. <laughs> You're missing anyway. It's calm anyway. The ratio of Miles getting banged is <laughs> low. <laughs> you can't uppercut him, you know. It has to be a hook. You can't jab him. It has to be a hook. You only get this side. You can't. Here's, yeah. But yeah, while that was all happening with all the, um, while it was all going viral and that, a few men phoned me and a few men messaged me. Even um, Nina, he messaged me like, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, Who's yo, Nina? Nines, he messaged okay. me like, yo, what going between between you and Troy Dini? I'm saying, yeah, man. Is this real? I'm saying, he's a footballer. He's a prim baller like that. He said, blood. That man has been on the wing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that's one, that's one. He said, that man has been on the wing, you know. Just I'm saying, that. come on. Then after, my net, I got man from Birmingham phoning me. Yo, Troy's that guy. He's a prem, but he's not a kid blood. Oh, that, that was good. Blood? Yeah, it was good, to be fair. That, worked, that was yeah. better than Peaky Blinders. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. His girl's from Birmingham. Yeah, Cover, nah. What, well, you got a girl, yeah? <laughs> whoa, 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 Hey, but yeah, a bear man was phoning me. I'm saying, all right, cool, but I'm Miles, innit? They're like, yeah, but it's Trey. <laughs> I'm Miles. <laughs> like the movie, you know, Trey. <laughs> cool, like and then that, that was leading up to me seeing him, innit? Then after all the story, you know it what? Was all That's the only, the only one I didn't like was, was the nines one. When you commented, uh, I think he commented on a picture and you commented back. He was like, he's man to be like the wing, and he was like, only when he does his football or something. Yeah, but I was, and I was cheeky, like, man. Oh. He's about to back out. He's about to back out. What fouls and that? So hold on, hold on, hold on. You remember the reply he left to Nines' comment on an Instagram, and you don't have a list. I don't have a list. Nah, you got a list. <laughs> and obviously, you gotta remember, I'm not from this internet world of we chat and go back and forth. Like, again, not a bad man, nothing like that. I just don't do the social media thing. I get hammered by my people all the time like you need to post more you need to do this you need to engage i'm like it's not real to me yeah. do you get what i mean sorry that hennessy burp kick up <laughs> um so it's not it's not about like trying to be tough or anything it's just i, I see everything because i'm on insta the same way everyone is i'm on twitter i'm on all of that but the biggest thing i always say my friends are on it more than me mm. okay. i've literally got friends that google me the first thing they do in the morning is troy dini news Oh, serious? If I've got in tr like this was before, like when I was out and about to see if I was got in more trouble or what I'd done. But it's like, 
now it's just like, bro, like really sicky, it's fine. But just to, to elaborate on your point, because you said your side, I would say mine. Um, yeah, I come, because I went to Chips thing first. Same time, I just got with my, my missus now, innit? So this is five years ago now. So I just got with my missus. So this was the first time I took her out. That's a big day. Huh? That's a big That's day, a big day. <laughs> But you've got to remember as well, this is what I always say to people, yeah? That I'm not one of them. I got my my, my, my jewellery on and whatever. I don't hide. You're going to rob me. You're going to rob me anyway, innit? You, you know what I mean? But you're going to have a good fight doing it. <laughs> 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 we go to leave now. And... Karim's like, and, and money, money's like, yo, there's a poet's shoe just dropped. You want to come there? And obviously we just spoke at it. I said, as soon as this drops, send it me. I'll wear it in a game. Yeah. I was like, don't want nothing for it. That's just support your boy, innit? Like, send me that, we do it. Anyway, we drive over there. Now, as we're driving over, my phone is ringing. Yo, you know Miles is over there. <laughs> See, Brum man, Brum man will line you up. <laughs> <laughs> Quickly. I'm trying to cook him. Quickly. You see, I don't want to say his... Can you say his name was just here? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. He teeth. Was, yeah, Teeth. Bruv. I know about Teeth, man. When we, was, when, we was, when we was younger, obviously he's from where he's from. Yeah, from when he, North. Then, man, it was active. So when I saw Troy with him, I was like... What's oh, going on here? What's going on here, though? What kind of link up is this? In my head, I'm thinking... I'm not thinking you're linked with these man. Yeah. Like, because you're... Cause I'm thinking you're just a prem ball. I'm not... No yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. But I'm, I forgot that. Man, no man on the it's road. It's not even just it? that though. Teeth is really from North. Like, Bro, from clean from Birmingham. So like, yeah. But this is this is the thing. Yeah. So again, because we operate on respect. My, I'm the youngest in my team in my, all my friendship group. I'm also the smallest. Jesus. What? Do you get what I mean? All my friends. Are... <laughs> now, but you're like five foot. You're five foot eleven, no? Who's five eleven? <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Listen. You got, you got a T goal with you. I seen him. On yeah, that's, yeah. That's that's my yeah, best friend. Got this, a goal. I'm yeah. I'm six foot, and I'm thirty four. Everybody else that's around me is like, this the next one, he's 37. Like we went to school together. And then everybody else is nearly 40 or is 40. Was that when you was younger, you always- I always hang around with the, the older, older, older kids. Older yeah, 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 because I didn't, didn't go to school. I was, I was working from the age of 12. What? Yeah, bro. <laughs> been... you, had, you had a national insurance number at 12. <laughs> It was out. I said working for 12. They give national insurance number at 16. Listen, somewhere down the line, people will take into account what Troy Deeney's actually done from childhood to you need a bio Premier League player for many, lie, many though. years. This just makes me feel to make only one of my sons. I've got two. <laughs> one of them ain't might not go to school now, bro. <laughs> nah, he, could just, he could just be a nine. Nah, because you see, from, the, from uh, just put him on the field and well, the he was on, they put him on the wing. But they I started, put him on I the right. Start, I actually started as a right back. That's how I got picked up. That's how, that's how, uh, what? Wait, hold on. We, uh, we got a myth. We got a myth here that no one starts. As, as a, a striker. Fullback. What? <laughs> What's going on here? No one starts as a striker. No, no. No, 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 no one starts no. as a fullback. Everyone back. starts as a striker. Yeah, no one the starts as a fullback. The coach's son is always the striker. <laughs> always. <laughs> yeah? The coach's son. But we said. No one starts as a I'm, fullback. I'm a fullback, right? Okay. But I didn't want to be. Yeah, no, I didn't want to be. They chose. Oh, see? Yeah. I'm right. My, my I'm team, right. my school, t like my uh, schoolboy team, should we say, from mm. the area, we were winning 7 0, 12 0, 15 0. But we, wouldn't, we, would, we were that team. Eight of my 11, because obviously we played 11 or so, I did it back in the day, they don't do that anymore. Eight of my 11 have, have been pros. Is it? Who, who are they? Yeah. They never went on to big levels, but they, but they, they was at Villa, they was at Derby, yeah. they were at Blues. There's one the kid team. Was you always yeah. a baller, yeah? Huh? Was you always a baller? No, I'm, I'm all right. I was all right. My brother's the baller, yeah. my younger brother. Yeah. I'm going to bait him up in a minute anyway, but um, my younger brother was my baller. He's like lefty, played for Villa from six to 20. Dad dies, he, he falls out of love with football, floats, 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 and then he originally stopped playing football about five, six years ago. He's 31 now, but he's just kicking balls Sunday league. He just went viral, in it, on uh, ESPN. Oh, is it? I'm going to show you the tackle. What well, tackle? Oh I thought it was a goal, you must have tackle. <laughs> Bro, like, this guy, give him a pair of rollerblades, he could skate backwards. Like, he's just one of them yeah, people, like, no matter what he does, he's adapts. sick at. And then me, I'm just shit at everything. I just got to learn it. But if you give me the opportunity to show me how to do it, I'll do it. I'll just keep doing it and mm. I'll keep plugging away. You'll have to give me that much of the door to be open. I'll force it open. Mm, mm. So that's where the differences come. I was okay. I was like a six, seven out of ten every week. And where guy. was you, where would you where did you want where did you play as a youth? Right back. Like, but something. like where did you want to play, sorry? 
Striker, everyone wants to be a striker. I got you. Bro, the, the striker was getting all the friggin' awards. He got the player's player, the manager's player, top goal scorer. I'm here getting club man and that. Like, the guy that turns <laughs> up every week. Most improved. Most, Most improved, improved player. player. Like, the guy that just come to training, even when it weren't on. That's me, bro. Just, And that's how it was. It just, yeah, life in it. It just takes it around. But when I went to, um, when I went to, like, Warsaw, when I got picked up, I was playing centre mid then. But you remember, I'm 80, you play with over 35s. Like, I play big men's football. Not over 35s, but men's football. A lot of my team are 35. One geezer, what's say his name, he'd just come home for doing the nine stretch. The other geezer done eight. And th- and I'm the centre mid. The like Brum League my, is mad. These two, these, <laughs> these two are my holding midfielders. It's good. It's a good double. Pi- it's a good double pivot. I, yeah, I, I trust them. I, I'm the ten. Yeah, but they but we did it again because we operated on like we were gonna f- you up and we were gonna beat you. We was trying to get a fight if we could. Okay. So <laughs> like. Do you get what I mean? Never come to nah, play bro, ball. Man, listen. I nah, that's Lippy. That Lippy, that's you too. You're not from Brum. That's you as well. Not in the ten though. <laughs> <laughs> Lippy in the ten is that's that boy, Chris Samba. Chris Samba in the ten. I was yeah, as a, I was a midfielder that just ran. You everywhere. didn't have to hold. Do you get what I yeah. mean? I could just get everywhere. And um, I'll never forget one game yeah, we played. You know, obviously Burby's got the Cadbury factory. There's a football pitch there. It's re- like it's nice, bro. They spend money on it. And so we played there. We played Cadbury's. The the centre half smashed my friend. And my friend, and, but we had this thing like, he's not going to get him because he'll get set off now because it's obvious. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's gone, Troy, you're up. So I'm like, no pops. Oh, that's a, that's a prompt for you to say. Yeah, yeah, you yeah like you're, he's him. getting it. So yeah, yeah. that is cold. It goes that's, to the centre half, though. but I couldn't get to him. He passed, passed it to the keeper. Bro, when I say I smashed his keeper, I broke his leg in three places. Jesus Christ of oh, man. And the game had to stop for 45 minutes. Why the ambulance to the game. <laughs> man said the game had to stop for the half. <laughs> <laughs> the game's done. The game was abandoned, bro. <laughs> I said, a helicopter needs to land in that place. But you know, back in the day, like, it was just a 50-50, but I, I, I knew, because my dad, yeah, but I've told you before, my dad was a somebody at it, so my dad taught me, because he always liked to fight as well, so let's say the, the football, the, the mitre ball, where that is. Yeah. If you touch, if you kick the top of the mitre sign, as soon as you hit the ball, you'll go up. Do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, so you'll hit the saying. ball you and you'll go and, up, and, catch and then the you'll catch the well. band, yeah. yeah. So my dad taught me that from like eight. So when this guy was like, <laughs> What the f- <laughs> At eight years old, bro, nine you years old. You weren't ready for that. It's the way you raised that. I'm from a Jamaican Irish background. Like, yo, you gotta be tough, man. Yeah, it's a lot. You know what I mean? You gotta be tough. So it's my dad lot, was yeah. just on full, like, that. You don't take no medicine, you take oranges. You're sick, eat a bag of oranges. Is that Irish? Nah, Jamaican, yard, bro. Man, yeah, 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 Jamaican. Yeah, oranges. Eat, eat a bag of oranges. Then. <laughs> 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 oranges. Our thing, African things, Aboniki. You know Aboniki? Nah, that doesn't even sound right. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right. No, no, Aboniki. Oh. It's like yellow, it's like yellow rub. It could fix cars, bro. Oh, is bro, it, yeah? It does everything. Like a tiger barb. Type. Yeah, oh, that okay, thing okay. does everything, bro. It'll give you sight if you're blind, it can, bro. It'll, <laughs> it'll burn your eyes so you can see. <laughs> bro, it's crazy. Aboniki. Yeah, so my dad was on that kind of, like, just have that. But then I used to go outside and play. And my dad, obviously, when he were in jail, used to make sure everyone was outside buy everyone boots and that. You know, like, just give back to where we're from. Considering there was poisoning it, yeah, it's kind of a hypocrisy, it? it? Yeah, <laughs> balance, life cards, balance. Cards, yeah, yeah, and, uh, real. so when I, used, my Puma Kings, when I used to go out, when I used to go out, um, we'd play with the older kids and they'd be like, if I foul, you know, like as a kid falls, like rub a leg, I kick him again. Cause he was just, I don't be tough, bro. Like, yeah. it's paid off. Oh, definitely, man. But wait, you see, with that, yeah, did you bring that mentality to clubs that you went to? Like, you know what, man, like when we're playing, if a man kicks I went me, to war, you got to go. Dude. Every game, I went to war. But we, are you bringing man to war with you? Because you know, when you're in team, certain man, like, you'll get kicked and you'll look at a man and you'll say, yo, like, you need to go and do him. Like, but man, I'm not on it. Cleverly didn't go to war with that you. That Watford team was huh? with you. Nah, Cleverly would have oh, Cleverly. Cleverly. Ah. Uh, Clever's my guy, man. How easy is it to go to, let's say, war with people that you don't think want to with you? It depends on your mindset, isn't it? Because realistically now, let's say someone rushed this studio, what is a uh, 10 of us there. How many are really backing it? We can all say we're gonna, but how many are really gonna go, let me throw first? <laughs> See, do you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know I'm exactly with you. I'm, I'm with you. I've seen it. I've seen it as well. Hey, man, man, who look the other way. <laughs> they don't know you no more, bro. Like that's your problem. Like yeah. he's calling you out. But yeah. I go. My friends are in. We're all we're all in. Hundred percent. And that's how I took football. If you made me the captain of this team, 
It worked because of my ability. It worked because of my social skills and my people skills. It was, all right, I'm going to work harder than everybody and I'm going to keep you all accountable. Do you get in your feelings about that though? If a guy don't follow you into what? Oh, you won't last. He won't last. Okay, I hear it. Yeah, I get mad at that as well. I'm like that as well. If there's a 50-50 and a man's not going into that 50-50, bro, I'm going to have dribble all over my, in my beard and that, bro. I'm getting mad. Every time I played Arsenal, this is Arsenal versus Troy. Yeah, it was. It Do you was. get what I mean? So if you're not up for it, you're not you're not willing to back me. Yeah, you're not f***ing with man. Do you yeah, get what I mean? 100%. But I, I will go to war with you for whoever. Like, I won't get into the details of it, but like, a certain year we went out, Christmas party, rare, rare, rare. you know, old school, man out with their watches because they're footballers. A couple of people come up like, yo, give me that. What? It's with me? You can't do that. I don't even get, me and this person don't know each other. He's like, give me yours. I'm like, bro, in my life, you don't want this. <laughs> there's, there's 10 more in there. We're going, like, leave it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you know what, I'll, I'll be real, you know what, because I used to see your, uh, your, your tweet because you was mad on Twitter, it, for yeah, a while. I was, yeah, I was on you. For a while? He's mad today. No, nah, but what I'm saying is, Let me learn, man. but what I'm saying is, he, I, un I understood it, so okay. I can't get mad at it. And my mum always told me, you can't argue with stupid. So if people want to act stupid, I can't argue with that. I, I, just, I just understand you now, no problem. But when I'm seeing you and I'm, I actually, do you know what, but the same time you might go, Troy, I don't like him. When I do well, he's going, I rate my man still because he's doing his thing. 100%. Do you get what I mean? So yeah. if you've got that balance, because when you say a comment about me, I'm not just reading that one. You're reading all oh, of them. Oh, we're going to go through the last yeah, month. I'm going to tell you, I'm, I'm going to tell you straight. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 listen. I could give you 2021 no, Lippy Chudini tweets no, right now. No, I was going to no, say. No, that's cool. But I said the last tweet I ever wrote about you. What did I say? We're getting Troy Dini. I said, bring him in. <laughs> <laughs> bring him in. My man with the beard. That's what it is. I don't want him. I want Troy. He said oh. Dini would start in eight different positions for us. Dini is better than Lacazette. We're getting Troy Dini. Bada, we should have. <laughs> you, know, <laughs> you know what was close to signing? Huh? You didn't take that left turn. You didn't take the second left turn. If you, if you done that, no, bro, bro. That's, that's, I, I, I genuinely believe, as I love Xhaka, we, we, we're, we're missing that. Go on, how did you nearly join Arsenal? Wait, so, and what year so was this? This is the year, so the year got relegated. So when, I, when um, we, lo we lose at Arsenal, Mm -hmm. uh, three two. Yeah. Me and me and Welb score. Um we could we could have probably beat you. Is that COVID year member behind yeah, closed yeah, doors? Yeah. Was that the last game of the season? Yeah, yeah, we get relegated on that I day. Asked, yeah. yeah, and it's yeah. at Arsenal. It's and, at Arsenal and, you know, yeah. everyone's tweeting, ah you cold as well. I'm like, shut your mouth, man. Anyway. <laughs> and then so I give my all to I've never actually said this, but I'll say it out loud because with the guys. But I give my all to that place, you know. That year I played with a hole in my knee. And if you watch, if you go back, check the footage, after every game, they used to bring me off at 60, 70 minutes. I'm double, mash, I'm double ice yeah, because yeah, yeah, I couldn't yeah. really train. I was meant to have another operation. Do you get what I'm saying? So I, I'm thought, like, I thought your career was over. Yeah, so I had it, I, I, did, I did my knee, it snapped back. So basically the, this part of your knee, the outside of your knee, yeah, mm. snapped back Eey. and it broke into pieces. So the pieces are now floating in my knee. So every Eey. time I bent around, bent, it was like one would go all the way, the next one would get, Certain stuff, but every day it was bleeding, and to the point, yeah, I had to put a hole in the front Ooh, to bleed but, out. But, so just let it bleed. So I used to be out with the lads, like at like christening or something, and they'll be like, "What's up with your, your trousers?" My knee would just be leaking. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? But we gotta stay up. You can never go to an all white party, boy. <laughs> Trust me. Man's in the man's in funerals only. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's like, so I was doing all that, and then remember, we we lose, and it's the whole. Troy, Arsenal thing, whatever. Then Sky called me out straight after again. Now my emotions were all over the place. But what people don't know is when I went back into the changing room, you've got people crying, not the players, the staff, because that's who it affects more. Yeah, because the money and all that stuff. Because we're still yeah. going to get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. irrelevant. But to cut back, we're going to try to sell a few players. But that tea lady that's been there 30 years, that's you actually have to do that. That's like a, a rule, FFP yeah. rule. You have to sack people. Yeah, so imagine when you walk back into the changing room now, you've got kit men nervous of their job mm. in tears. Like, I thought we were going to do it. Can I really afford to go on holiday this summer? Go one, one step further. The director of football crying, bro. Like, properly crying. Now, I'm, like I said, Jamaican. I should not cry. What the f you cry for, bro? You're meant to be the leader. Mm. Why are you in here crying? <laughs> letting everybody else know you can cry. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Hey. I'm, I'm as 
Does everyone? Why are you laughing, boy? Boy cries at any moment. Why are you laughing about crying, man? This guy cries. Let point land, man. Yeah, and but, it's Jamaican. But, but, but my point is, you can you can cry, and obviously, we we if you if that's how you are, that's fine. And times I want to cry, I just can't do it because of how I was raised. But my point is, we're meant to be the leaders now. You've got me. We didn't even have a manager. We had Hayden Mullins, who mm. was caretaker, mm. and Hayden's my guy, obviously, and, and Stacky. So they're like, are we gonna get sat now? Do we have a job? So they're off in that like gray area and so all, the only two that should really be showing like yo we're going to be cool we're going to make sure you're right is me and the director of football this guy's crying <laughs> <laughs> i'm looking around going, he's getting mad <laughs> nah, i swear because i'm reliving the moment i'm looking yeah. at like there's 30 odd people in here and it's just me yeah yeah all right then let's go that's what it felt like though from the outside it did feel like if anything if anyone was going to say something yeah, it's going to be it's, it's going to be, be so in. then sky come in and the media guy. And now the media guy is a little bit, I don't really want to ask anyone. I'll do it. Don't get any of these, because someone will cry on telly or say something stupid. Let's go. Obviously, I'm always going to say something stupid. That's just who I am. <laughs> so we go out there, we do the interview. And like, uh, Kieran Tierney is like, sorry, bro. I'm like, no, listen, no, this is football, ain't it? You did your thing, well done. Congratulations, have a nice summer. Go, we're chatting, chatting. Sky, bear in mind, I'm, what am I, 31 at the time? 32, 31? Guy's like, so is uh, that the, the last we've ever seen, yeah? Bro, I've just finished the game 15 minutes ago. We're talking about is my career over. Yeah. So I just yeah, went. That's crazy. I'm only 32, you cheeky. Who are you talking to? <laughs> but the next day, yeah, I'm driving to South of France because obviously it's still COVID time. You can't really fly and all that. I drove to the South of France with my missus. So we're driving down now, and uh, my agent folds. Watford want to get rid of you. Me. It's the one who's been leading them to I'm war. Like, I'm the just whole like, me. Season. What's Bro, left? Bear in mind, I'm driving in shorts because I can't put trousers on. My knees massive. I'm like, my missy looked at me. She's like, don't. I was like, that. Do you know what? Them, you get off my phone. My knees swelling, and you're talking about they want to get rid of me now. When bear in mind, two the last four months I ain't been getting paid because mm. mm. I said to you, keep it. Let's make sure the staff get paid, and you get what I'm saying. So now I'm taking everything personally now. And anyway, so we long story short, I settled down for a week come back and they're like uh we speak to Mourinho at Spurs because uh, remember the season finished in July time and we were straight back in in September August September it was a quick turnaround we speak to Mourinho of course I was Jose what do you mean I'm not gonna speak to Mourinho watch it come in at Spurs but they got that Vinicius Carlo, yeah Carlos yeah. Vinicius yeah. Carlos yeah. Vinicius yeah so they're, they're like they're toying with that idea um just will you have a chat with him because he wants to know, will you come in and be, Can will I be, up? no, but will I be me though? Oh, right, if yeah. I come in, I'm like, yeah, I'm Troy and upset the place. Obviously, you got to play that into. I was like, listen, I'm 31, 32. Let's have a good time, it. I'll come. I said, only time we're going to play Europe. If if Harry's doing well, I'll be his biggest cheerleader. But if he's not. I'll step in. I'll step in. And also, daily, I'll push him. I'm nowhere near as good as Harry. Nowhere near, would we'll never say that. But the certain things I do, he can't do. 100%. Facts. Do you get what I mean? Uh, do you remember they had the, um, Lorente? Yeah. yeah. The year before, he used Rapish to come in, well. do well. So I'm going, but he come in, he scored a few goals. Nah, he's the best no, second striker right, they had, bro. bro. Champions League, couple goals. goals. I don't, I don't know. rate him. No, nah, you might not rate him. I just about rate Kane, so let's, let's <laughs> carry on. <laughs> but he was impactful. Yeah. So yeah, I'm nah, like, I, hear you. I could do that role. Yeah, of course. And there's so many games to play, you will play. Of course, I think they was in Europa League or something like that. So I'm like, I'll play every first day, no problem for me. And um, so we had the chat and he's like, if I can't get this over line, you're next, sweet. Then back in training now, I'm just on bike that because my knee's not right. So I'm just on the bike. And um, someone from Arsenal was like, yo, would you go Arsenal? But what you have to do, you have to apologize for that comment. Oh. No way, way man. I know exactly what you did. Of course you did. I know exactly what you did, bro. He's gonna stand on his he's gonna stand on his word. I said I'm not apologizing for he's that. He's gonna stand on his word. But it happened to me before. I when, can't believe it. When this. I was at like 2013, I scored 25 goals in the champ. Villa want me. We have you, but you gotta remove that blues tattoo. And a leg. rum thing. What? Huh? Nah, that's, that's, nah, nah, that's nah, nah, ridiculous. Nah, nah, nah. Well, remove the tattoo. That's or what they cover said. It. Yeah, yeah. Or cover it. Nah, I get that's that. ridiculous. I was like, I was like no problem. Bear in mind, I'm only on. I'm on change for what I ended up earning, but I was on change at that point. So when they're offering these numbers, he's like, it's only a tattoo really, isn't it? They're thinking, you know what, that, that, that carrot and blue looks let so all right, like, with let my new boots and that. But, but, but uh, my best friend, blues guy, everyone knows this, does what he does, and it's like, 
Boy, you do that, me and you can't be friends, you know. What's that rivalry like? Like that derby? What's that derby like? Because obviously, in, in my opinion, and again, I'm biased, and you got to say it, but I can explain it. it. Other than Rangers, Celtic, and Ars- I think these three are on a par. Rangers, Celtic is a bit more bloody because obviously there's a religious element attached yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you put that, you know what I mean? You put that yeah, above. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then of the, of the next ones, it's Arsenal, Tottenham, Blues Villa. In, uh, that, but they're on a par. It's not one or the other. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Arsenal and Tottenham don't like each other. But Birmingham, Villa, bro, it goes off. Don't you remember what happened to Grealish, bro? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But what about Crazy. Millwall, West Ham, though? They don't play each other. No, nah, they don't play. They don't ever see each other. But at the same time, it, it, it is... That would be on that scale, but they don't play they each don't other. They don't see each other, yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? But oh, Blues Villa was like eight, nine, ten years religiously. And what I'm saying is, you can Google it, 100 people a game getting nicked. Mm. Is it? Jesus. Yeah. Then sells are Fans have run up. on the pitch for Enkelman. Fans have Enkelman, ran on the I was at that game, I was 14 years old. <laughs> Seriously? Were you on the pitch? Huh? That, man, I got a one pound <laughs> ticket. I ain't get on the pitch. I'm all the way there, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> man, gotta have a parachute to get on the pitch. <laughs> Troy, true or false? Yeah, I read. I read that you played for a team called Chelmsley. 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 From, but, you got from. you got scouted in a game where you played drunk and scored seven. <laughs> 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 Based on today, do you think that's true? <laughs> <laughs> and and for your trial, you didn't wake up and your gaffer had to go and pick you up and pay for the car. Yeah, yeah. So I'm why, sorry, why, why, was, why is this? So, the amount of times I should have f- I did f- up, but there was just someone there that went, yo, I'm so f- about. Yeah, yeah. Do you get what I mean? They didn't have to do that. So, for that story for, in particular, Friday, my jo- I used to be a builder at it. Mm. And people don't know, I used to build Britley and all of that. Mm, used to be me. a builder? Yeah. Proper builder though, or just yeah, one yeah. of your mates? You went nah, to college was, and all that? I was a bricklayer, yeah. Yeah, that my guy. We went college, I went to college as well, did two years of college. What did he build? <laughs> <laughs> I built this building! It was a Lego. Brother, that, <laughs> that infrastructure ain't there no more, Rupert. They had to, I got blown with the wind. Yeah, we gotta check build. the foundations That's on that That's why Tottenham one. is still way behind. Yeah, it's way so behind. Look at PK's You're years. the reason PK is. <laughs> so obviously I did, um, I do have a bold for you actually. He's just come back to me. We'll speak about that after. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, on this, on this, it was on this, it was on this, it was on this. It was with the Andy Colting. Oh, oh, what the oh, one we wanted? Okay, we're yeah, gonna go. I was getting mad enough today. We'll touch a light in a minute. So um, yeah, so anyway, so I, I went building college with all that and I was I was a builder at it and our job finished on the Friday. They literally went it was uh, it was the it was the the doctors where I'm from. We built that as a brand new doctors, all of that. And Friday, job's done. Now it's like Monday, I'm like, I gotta get all these things, see if I can get a graph for Monday. Like, so I'm in the pubs, um, where you should it be? Do you get what I mean? I'm everywhere like, boom, 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 boom. Friday anyway, get mash up. Got paid like three, three bills for that week. 150's done on Friday night. <laughs> Saturday, 150's done Saturday. <laughs> Sunday, I'm man's out, broke. But I'm out with the man. And then Sunday, I used to play Sunday league with all my boys from home. But I knew if I play Sunday, all I had to do was buy Mackies. If I bought a Mackies in the morning, because I'm the youngest. Recovery. So if I bought everyone's breakfast, no, if I bought everybody's breakfast. Oh, oh, you're in the, you're in the team. The rest yeah. of the day, I don't have to. Pay for anything. So when they go yeah. pub, like, yeah. Troy are paying. Like. Yeah, 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 yeah. So anyway, we did that. So we did Mackies breakfast, played the game, won like 5-1 or whatever. Go straight from there, Super Sunday. Straight from there to town. Straight from town home. I get home at like 4, 4.15 in the morning. Mm. Jesus. Bro. The, the guy on the on the Saturday is like, what, it's called Warsaw? This is how ignorant I am, but I've never been past Birmingham. So that's like living in Watford and not knowing where Luton is. Oh, that's down the road. Yeah, and that's <laughs> what it was for me. It's like <laughs> yeah, three junctions. Oh, yeah, it's down the I'm road. Like, yeah. I'd never heard of it. So he's going to be like, we got what, it's called be like trial, rare, rare, rare. But I'm asleep in, 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 my, in a bunk bed. I'm on the bottom, my brother's on the top. Like, Who's that banging up the door, man? Like... At the top window, as you do. Yo, you doing? It's like, you got that trial? I'm like, that was real, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I thought someone was trying to line him. Yeah. I was like, that was real. He's like, yeah, AI. come. I'm going to take you. He's like, I'm going to take you. I swear to God, ask him his name, Derek. Owens Charles Town still, lovely fella. Like, yeah, cool. Got my dirty boots and the Adidas, uh, Asda bag from the day before. So I just threw my Adidas trackie on at the matching trainers as it was back in the day. Remember like that? Superstars. The, but yeah, but you remember they had the Muhammad Ali collection and all of that? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. See, that's where I was at. <laughs> so I, did that. I had my little, <laughs> little pouch, brush my teeth, jump in the car with him, drives me there. 
sleeping in the car the whole way there. I don't even know if it took us 10 minutes or two hours, but <laughs> I just got there. Gets out, he goes, right, I'll introduce you there, I'm gonna go. I'm like, where the f are you going? You gotta just drop me here and leave. He's like, why? I ain't got no money. He's like, are you gonna get home? I said, exactly, stay here. Yeah. He's like, here, I gotta go work. Pass me 20 pound. What a man. And I go, I train with Believe, the under He 18s. believed in you, boy. Yeah, yeah train man. with the under 18s. They're like, did a week, played in a game, scored. And they were like, right, he's too, he's too physically strong for these kids. Like, Because remember, I've been playing adults football since I yeah, was 15 yeah, yeah, at this yeah, yeah, point. Yeah. And you've been so building now, rules. I'm, I'm banging gym. <laughs> <laughs> brick laying as well. Yeah, yeah, and, laying, I'm, yeah. and I'm banging gym with the lads as well. So And Jameer Canarius, and they don't. Yeah, yeah, so we brought I'm you like, to cry over there. So. Every, <laughs> everyone's just getting ran over. I was like, Yaya Torre playing against other 18s. <laughs> it didn't make no sense. <laughs> but I'm just running all over everyone. And then I go, and they're like, um, we want to keep you, but we can't offer you nothing. I ain't got a job. I'm still helping mum, you know what I mean? I've got brothers and sisters in school. I'm like, can't really do this. My mum's like, this is the chance to like to do it. Don't worry about this, just do that. So my mum took an extra job. Sick. Like cleaning like the, the, the lad books around the corner and cleaning the um, the local pub. And up just three months, bro, didn't get paid. That's amazing. Scrafting. That's they, all, sick, all, like mums. Yeah, big all they, all they did, All they did was give me a, a ticket, yeah, you know, the trade tickets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's all I had, a, a monthly trade ticket to get in and get, get out. In and get out. And then I went to Hales Owen, which is like a non-league team. So for down this way, it'd be like the equivalent of like what a Barrow was, you know, as it is now, or like a Sutton United, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, Sutton. you know, like those kind of teams. Yeah. Yeah. Or set Albans or yeah, a Wilson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, I go there. I play the first three games, bag two every game. But there was this thing, you had to go to the clubhouse after, yeah. This how, like, it's how basically I got football smart. So I'm going in now and everyone's getting these little brown wallets. Mm. So I'm now, they're all waiting. So obviously it's cash in there. All less matter just sniffing after games. Well, I, know, <laughs> I know it's cash in there. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? My head's, my head's in there like. <laughs> that, head's gone. That's where I was at. I was like, hold on. What's going on here? What? I'm scoring and winning. I got a trade ticket to get here and you man are getting cash. And you man are shit, you know? That's how I'm thinking about like, you what? So I pulled the other strike. I was like, what's this, bro? And he sat down, he opened it up. He's like, that's my pay. So he was getting 650 a game. Oh what? my. 650? 650 pound a game and 100 pound a goal. Ah. What? So you're thinking, yo, you're about, you're about like nine mils down or something. You're thinking you're nine mils down. Nine mils? He's I'm rack, literally like, now. Wait, what? A lot of players wouldn't have shown you that, by the way. Nah, he so was cool. that. Matty yeah. Lewis, his name was good kid, lovely kid. I was like, huh? Man, my mom's in labels right these now. These man think I'm a I so like. I literally, manager comes out, he's like, yes, Troy, Martin O'Connor, I know him, still love him to this day, skip. I was like, come here, big man. <laughs> <laughs> like, I swear to God, I was I'm like 18, I've got nothing to lose, what are you gonna do, send me back to what I've got nothing. I was like, come here, bro. So well, I've been coming here three weeks now, everyone's getting these little packets. I need some money, you know, because man's getting paid 50 pound, but he thought Warsaw were paying me. Yeah. Oh. So he's like, don't worry about that, we don't need to. Cause I'm getting paid here. I was like, bro, I'm broke, man. I literally just said to you, I'm broke. My mom's working extra jobs. You need to give me a chance to make some money, man. He's like, all right, let me speak to the, he goes over, speaks to the chair, he comes back. He's like, right, what we could do, 100 pound a game, 50 pound a goal. Cause I was only there for 10 games. Try to undercut the man. So I was like, I already know what they're getting, but I know I'm going to score. So that's a minimum of 200 pound free. I was like, all right, cool, no problem. So I'm gonna get three bills at yeah. least. Lucrative the, thinking. Yeah. The first game we played, the guy was like, before the game, I can't pay you this week, so I'll pay you next week. Like we'll make it happen because we had a game in the week. It was like Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. I was, but it's my last week. I'm like, all right, you can't pay me this week, but you definitely gonna pay me that week. Yeah. That last week, bro, I played three games, scored six goals. Slap where. Quickly. And he was scratching his head, you know, he's thinking, oh man, I should have subbed him off early doors. But you know what happened as well with that though, bro? This is where my head was at. Cause I thought that was the pro game. Cause I'm paying 20 pound a game to play at Chelmsley Tower with the lads. So now this is this is my level of pro. They trade Tuesday, Thursday, they got floodlights. This thing, this is proper. Yeah, this is you know it, I mean? this, this is, is it. proper. When I was going back to Warsaw, I actually stopped the manager. I was like, listen, if this don't work out, can I come back here? And I'll sign for 200 pound and the, the 50 pound of goal thing. And he just laughed at me and went, you ain't got a clue what's coming your way. <laughs> and I That's like, class. Oh. I went back to Warsaw and I signed my first contract with like 110 pound a, a week. 
guaranteed with fifty pound to start, fifty pound a a goal. Like oh man, it's a start, man. That's a start, isn't it's it? A start. At eighteen as well. I got my first paycheck, like proper slip. Yeah. Because obviously the building was cashing and like yeah, of course. you work the days. Listen, if I went football and they had thirty pound for me, I'd be like, brother, <laughs> <laughs> like, this this was going on right now. Yeah, yeah man, I get a burger with this. Lippy, man. quick one, sorry, you don't know ball challenge, Lippy. Do you reckon you can give me four of Troy Dini's gaffers? No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm born in the, listen, I'm born in 1991. Let me land. You thought I was Steve-O. Let me land. Let me land, man. No, you can. You wait, wait, forget that. Back to PK. Whoa. Andy goal. Goal scoring. Yeah, yeah, let's get let's go. This hairline's still there. I want it to, I want it to go. What's, what's your take on it? I want it to go. Do you know, you know my take on it? It's not even a dig at you, yeah? It is, but it isn't if that makes sense. Like, I don't think we respect that man enough in this country. In 100%, my opinion, hundred percent. See, like I grew up, I match. Remember the Match magazine? Of course, of course. I remember the first one I got. There was a picture of Andy Cole in a chip shop in the black and white stripes, holding a pair of Reeboks. Mm-hmm. I was like, he's sick. Just because I go to the chippy, I wear Reeboks. Yeah. He's black like my dad. Yeah, I'm, yeah. He's sick. He's the and that was just the soul, you know, yeah, the yeah. Yeah. connection. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, connection. And then they had like his stats and his bad goals. I was like. We used to play football. My nan lived at the house. I think she had like the hallway. We used to play football. I'm Andy Cole. I'm Asprey. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm whoever you need to be like in, in that Newcastle team. Freaking out. And then he comes on this show and I'm like, oh, this is sick, you know. When you, you said you had him coming, I was like, yo, this is sick, man. I'm like, Andy don't chat, you know. Same as where you said, same way you said to me, Rico don't chat, yeah, Michael Ricketts. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, ah, oh, let him speak, man. Let him land. He's talking about what I want's being difficult. <laughs> <laughs> what? You're gonna make him stop speaking, bro? I'm like, this guy scored 200 goals and you, with the greatest respect, has scored 200 at five aside. <laughs> talking about, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Just, just out here, like. Let him land. I ain't a strike, I ain't a strike for no. I don't care. I ain't a I don't strike for no. I don't right, care if you don't Let him land, let him land, but, but, but my point, my point is, I'm watching the show, yeah, going, now I want to hear this. I want to hear what he's got to say, and I swear that I was like, "Bro, shut the fuck up." <laughs> That's all I kept saying at the TV. Cause I had it on the TV. I'm like, "Shut up, man. Shut up." And I went to my missus. When we get Andy on, because obviously yeah, you partnered us up with Andy. I was like, "When we get Andy on, I promise you, I'm gonna ask the same question. I gave you credit. <laughs> remember? I gave you credit. I gave you credit. I said, "Yo, you, you got asked the, the question." I said, "I will give up filthy fellas because obviously they partnered us up." But what I will say is, I'm gonna ask you this question. I'm gonna let you speak. Because how can you have someone of that level? You know, we're talking about life skills. Right? Yeah, yeah. This is an elite black man, you know. Yeah, yeah. That Sky don't chat to, BT don't chat to, whatever Man United on the TV or Newcastle. They don't go This man him. should be on yeah, the telly. 100%. 100%. But because he's so real and he's one of us, I was just disappointed that you didn't let him. Now, I think, I think he landed, but we're having a conversation. But I'm beefing him, man. What are you telling me? I got to beef him. No, but I'm saying the difference is when you ask a question, I have a conversation. I say this to my kids all the time. What's a conversation? I ask you a question, I let you speak, you ask, yeah. and, and you that's let, our conversation. Let, you let Risa land, bro. What? Risa land where? I don't even, ch- I don't even chat to Risa. <laughs> hey, you just, I'll see what I'll You said the Suarez thing. Do you know what I'm saying? Just for, for this, it's only my person. I was like, bro, this guy is so sick. I've, and I started off, I, well, as you said, we do we do the, the, the podcast game. We're obviously trying to grow to the level you man are at, but it was like, bro, like, I started up, I said, this is the most disrespected footballer in English football, Easy. in my opinion. No, but I didn't know this though. You see, when you lot were all to coach, remember, I'm 26. So when you lot are telling me Andy Cole, Andy Cole, Andy Cole. You don't need no research, you just turn up. I did, I did research, but obviously, I don't know that he's disrespected. You know, it's because yeah. you're a gooner as well. So but you know, like, say for, for argument's sake, Thierry came in here. Yeah. You'd ask him a question, you'd be like, yeah, yeah. Not PK. No, but I'm a devil. I'm playing devil's advocate. I get that's that. what people want to see. But what I'm saying, you can only play devil's advocate once you've heard the answer. You can't ask the question and then. Now, but if you say something mad, yeah, I'm going to be like, oh, like I'm mesmerized. Because I'm, <laughs> I'm expecting him to say, yeah, a man that scored so many goals, yeah, I'm expecting him to say. What, what position do you, what you, position you, you play? Center mid. So you're center mid, right? So for argument's sake, yeah. You're passing the ball to a striker all the time, you expect him to score. One on one, yeah. No, I'm just saying in general, you pass nah, him nah, the ball. Nah, of course not. Look, let's say, okay, let's say you pass him for a one on one, you expect him to score, you say yeah. Yeah. But that striker now expects you to pass him that ball every time the same way you just did. So when you make a mistake, do they turn around to you and go, yo, you're meant to do that because you're a midfielder, you're supposed to pass it? Yeah, me. Get onto me. But what I'm saying is, you can't make a mistake then. 
Yeah. No, nah, of you get course you can make yeah. mistakes. No, after, but after the same way you were saying the striker should score every time, you should make that pass every time. No, but I wasn't saying every time. I think I was saying 60 40. I was saying, I was saying it's an easy chance. He said 80 20. I was, I was oh, listening. Well, let me bring it down. I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> let me bring it down. Let me, let me bring it down. You lost the cool. I would say that on that, you're right. Like Andy Cole, and that's why we tried to do that episode the way we did it. I'm just happy that there was a moment that PK got with him that at least elevated him at that moment. I think the Hall of Fame was coming around yeah, and it gave yeah. us a little. No, I think, I think, I think in general it was sick. I'm just saying for me as a striker, like I'm listed to. What percentage do you think it is as a striker? <sighs> depends how good you are, innit? It depends on your clinical. No, it depends on, depend on the situation as well. Like no two one on ones are like, the especially same. when you've got if a it, serious if it, keeper. If it's right down the middle, you've just been laid through right down the middle. I'd say that's a 70 30 chance in my favor. Because I could go right, I could go left, I could dig you. I this could is go what you were you. saying, though. It, but to it be fair, yeah, yeah, no, that's, that's what I'm saying. What but it saying. depends on where it is. If it's down the so side you, now. now you're, what you're basically saying is Andy Cole's chat. <laughs> no, 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 never. never. <laughs> that's my guy. That's my guy. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I want to hear from his level, because Lowe we spoke about earlier, there's levels within this football thing. Mm. I ain't been to his level. Elite. So I want to know what does he think. And on and, and Artie, he was talking about like having practicing it daily and just putting two cones in the corner of the post two yards away and all he's trying to do is get in that space get in that space that's the the level of detail that they do a championship now just hit the target bro do you know what I mean if you can hit the target and not rush and blast it over we'll take that we'll work from there yeah I got, I got a question right for you lot do you think football's going to do a full circle you see how fashion does a full circle? Mm -hmm. So like the flares are back in and the oversized hoodies are back in. <laughs> <laughs> They're on me! <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't say, I wouldn't say a full circle, but I think it will revert back. 4-4-2. Four, four, like it'll get, it'll get, to what? It'll what get era? physical. Like a, like I'm, seeing, I'm, seeing like, like I'm, seeing like, I'm seeing a lot more 4-4-2s four, now. Yeah, yeah. I'm seeing two strikers look back. At, look back. at Haaland, bruv. Yeah. Like when was the last time a footballer this technically limited yeah, yeah. could go score 50 something goals just in a season like they'll, they'll be they, something they to built stop a that. robot in a lab though another question on that I mean you think Kane would score as many goals as Haaland if he had you need joined? to ask Tigo I don't think he would score as many goals no but I do think he'd probably get 10 more assists I disagree I disagree is it you I think it'd be I more I, you know what it is? Less. I, think, I don't know man I think City would I f me personally I think if City had Kane we were, Arsenal would have never looked like we was gonna win the league. That's, that's yeah, me. But, I, dis I disagree. But you're, I think he's right. But the second half, once the team is built for Holland, yeah, yeah, there's yeah, yeah, Kane, you don't need Kane. Kane. There's you no need the, for Kane. See, the, see, no, no. see how I look at it. Yeah, and it's just my opinion. It's not fact. It's just my opinion. Him dropping in as he does at Spurs. Mm -hmm. Kevin's got to move out my way. Mm. Gundogan's got to get out of my space. You need to be a special type of person to just stay on the line. And your job is to stretch it to let these men have the ball. So if you actually watch Haaland's game, he does about 15, 20 runs. Again, he never gets the yeah, ball. Yeah, he never gets the ball. And he doesn't moan. He just goes, boop. That's my job. Boop. And then as soon as it goes wide, because remember, remember City when they had Sterling and that? It was like chop, 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 chop. Now they get wide. Boom. Because he's got to be there. And more time, he's going to be one versus one. And if you hit the area, he's probably going to be there. Because everyone seems to think he goes, I was having this debate with someone the other day. He worked for a match that day. They were like, he goes to the back post. I was like, bro, you can't talk stats with me because I do stats. Look where he ends up. He's on the penalty spot and he's two yards either side. Mm. That's it. Because he knows he can make the back. He knows he can, can make the front. front. Yeah, yeah. But if you yeah. watch him, he's always on the penalty spot. I remember I spoke to Jack not too long ago, yeah. And I was like, what's my man like? Because obviously I'm, I want to know about the strikers. He's like, bro, he's so sick, but he's so boring. Mm. He's, robot. he's like, all he does is train, eat, sleep, Repeat. He just wants to. He just he wants to has to be the best. Yeah, he wants to win. Serious. He's like the best pro you've ever seen, Troy. I swear down. Is it? Yeah. I thought it'd be a cannon. Remember that video of him getting dashed out? The, the, the dance yeah, 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 or yeah, yeah, Germany yeah. or whatever. Do you remember on the actual thing, the thing that highlights? Do you see his dad comment? Nah. His dad comment went, "This ain't a good look, son." Serious. I don't even know he's well, like that. On, 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 on the picture? On the open page, you know, like. No, no, just message your son, bro. Nah, <laughs> because he's <laughs> acting, bro. No, because he's making you know, like, I'm not just on you. I want them to know. I want them to know. Yeah, I'm on you. I'm on you because 
I'm a dad now. I'm a I'm a dad of four. I don't know how many. I don't know you got kids. I don't know if everyone's got kids. You said you got two, innit? I got five. I got five. <laughs> <laughs> I must have, you said you got two. You got five. So you got two boys. My bad. I got two you boys. Got two yeah, boys. Two That's why I said sorry. So I was listening. I was listening. Two up top. Two up top. Two up top. Jamaican. I can tell you, it's Jamaican. Yeah, man. I learned, man. So Let I me got, learn. I got four, and the missus after a fifth. So I hear you. It's, it's bad. Um, but yeah, but my point. What I'm saying is. When you've got kids here, yeah, your job isn't to let the world shape your kids or school shape your kids. Your job is to you shape your kids. So if I've let you know that the precedent is, you can have a drink. You're a big man, no one can tell you not. This falling out of club, if you want to be that level. Clean that up, man. That don't yeah, run. Be known, man. So I've been telling you this since you was 10 maybe, 15 maybe, whatever the age may be we've had the conversation. Do what, because you're 24 now, I can't, I can't say it. Mm. So that's how my mum used to slap me at parents' evening. What, you was drunk at school? <laughs> 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 On Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> but you get what I'm saying? That's, Paul, you, you appreciate that. What's that? Like, understanding your kids, like, 100%. all you can do is shape them. And I've said this on, on nothing, and I'll say it again in front of him. You see, we had this chat about the village mentality. Remember we did the- yep. one Po. The one Po show, yeah. what was that? 2020 or tw 2020, innit? COVID took some years from us, but it just feels right. like- Yeah, yeah. Just forget what it you was. So it. we did that, and we was talking about things, and then, we did, you jumped on mine, innit? And, yeah. and said the same thing. And I was like, I said to my missus, like about two weeks ago, I was like, do you know what's so sick about Paul, yeah? And I'll say it for everyone, because I, I don't mind giving people that phrase. You know what's so sick about him? Consistent, you know? In a world that's not consistent. Filthy's all about consistency, yeah, man. Filthy's you get all, what about I mean? consistency. all about consistency. But that's what I'm saying. I'd, I'd just like to give people that phrase, because whether, because there's someone that don't like you, innit? And there's someone oh, there's a like lot, boy. No, there's but my a point lot, is, boy. So if you pick two people, there's one that likes you, the one that yeah. doesn't like you. But my point is, if you can be consistent in your behavior, it don't matter if they like you or dislike you, they have to respect Undeniable, you. Undeniable, yeah. I don't think they don't like me. I think they're just used to that character, so they know the mechanic can to respond. So they will be like, I don't like you, but. But, but my point is, irrespective of the emotion of it, this is what I went back to earlier. The physical is, I have to respect you. It's consistent. You respect you. And you know what? If Arsenal, you're going to say Arsenal. If Hundreds. Arsenal are good, you're going to say Arsenal are good. So irrespective of that, I have to respect that. And that's, and that's what I think is missing in, in men now. Yeah. There's not too much respect. But if I'm wrong, I just said that. I apologise, nah, bro. But you can't, you can't, if, if you're wrong in a relationship, you can't apologise, bro. That's why you're 26 and single. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know what I mean? T tell me a big man that wants to be single. No, well, I don't know. There's someone. There's tell someone. Me, tell me one. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. That's why we had to check him. Hey, do you want to be single? Nah, man? no way. No, no, I don't want to be single. I don't want to be single. When I was thirty, I left my old relationship. I had, had a couple million pound house, cars, bare doll in the bank. Thirty, I looked. I went. I ain't happy with how my life is. Sorry, I'm going. Keep it all. So when Definitely. you saw me Keep on that, do you know where I was living? Do you know where what? I was living? You know when you saw me for your event, do you know where I was living? In my car. Pardon? Huh? Why you was beefing me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is Miles effect. That's the Miles effect. <laughs> hey, this is why you need to know, man didn't care. <laughs> his things changed. Your TV's changed. He would have driven to you in his yard and just mashed you up. <laughs> mashed you up in I the yard. I bear utensils. <laughs> bear, bear <laughs> I'd have you with a cloak hanger, you know? What? <laughs> so anyway, I left on my 30th birthday, yeah? And I'm living out my car, so I had, had a, it's a nice car though, don't get me wrong. I had a Mercedes GLC, and all I did was grab as many clothes I could, fruit in the boot, as many trainers I could, fruit in the boot. Gotta get the crepes. The rest, I'll figure it out. And I just left, bro, and it was just like, at 30, I'm like, this is what I really want, bro. At 30 years old, I'm still fighting. No, no, bro, I'm captain in the Prem, what do you mean? Yeah, I can't do that. That doesn't feel right. That don't feel right. You gotta... But I'm looking at myself now, going, bro, you're drinking four times, like, I'm being drunk, drunk, four times a week. You're still training. I'm driving two hours to Watford to come straight back. So I never left Birmingham. I've always been in Birmingham. So I remember for a decade, well, 12 years, I drove to and from Watford every day. They didn't you bad for that, boy. But they were, no, they wanted me to stay. No, people, they wanted to kick you out after. Oh, I mean, out yeah, after, yeah. But, but I'm saying at, at the time, no, they were like, bro, we will buy you a house. Up north, we do things a little bit different, and it's so I still go to my nan's every Wednesday. I still go to my mum's every Wednesday. Unless I'm playing, I'm coming around to my nan's in my slippers, in a tracky. Nan, nan, pull up, nan puts the kettle on. Get to my mum's, they put the kettle on. Because I'm Troy. Yeah. I'm not Troy Deeney. I'm not the, the money. It's like, 
Right, trying to get me out. That's your lot. That's your lot. We gotta go. That, nah, but that's that's just how it is. So I never really left. But I feel like we do life talk football, but that's the other bit. Nah, no, we talk no, life no, and no, football. No, no, wait, wait. There's there's, there's an intersection there. You stayed in Birmingham. You played at Watford. There's a period where Leicester will bang on you. Thirty mil. Jamie Vardy to Arsenal, Troy Deeney to Leicester. No, no, no. Jamie was never going. Okay. It was Troy to play with Jamie. Oi, what? Tra- what? Troy Deeney and Jamie Vardy together? I, that that would have been I, a a centre back pairing would have been stressing. <laughs> Yo, this is what, 2015, 2014? Centre backs are happy that it happened. <laughs> <laughs> if that happened, that's, that's mad. mad. We ask we ask most of our guests here. Who if we have the centre backs, right backs, strikers, whoever it may be. He was the toughest centre back. Hold on, wait, let's get there. But let me just. But what happened with this me. Leicester deal? What happened with the Leicester deal? Yes, to double it down. Don't do that. But again. you see, you see, for me, yeah, it depends what you mean, and because my game was ba- based on like just badded you up, it weren't like. So we played Liverpool. I remember beating three 0 first year up, and uh, I, I said to the boys, and uh, as I say it now, I feel like, but I just said to the boys, yeah, we win the kick because obviously I'm going for the touch. We win kick. Go back and put it as high as you can. <laughs> because I want to see what this set of half's about. Mm. So they used to go back. It used to go back to Caps because he had the nice tech. The Caps would just float one. He'd get the distance, but he'd give me enough time to move from halfway line to be able to get to him, but also come on the angle. Because yeah. I can't, most people can't jump straight. straight. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I want to come yeah, on the angle yeah. and get across. That, so anyway. that Troy Deeney side angle jump, that yeah, was, yeah, that's yeah, a yeah. menacing it was, it was, jump. So, it was dead. But the thing is, you know, in the actual jumping stats, I'm the lowest. In, I can't, I can't get what? high. Oh, that knee, that knee, that knee. Yeah, that, but it, since I was like 10. Okay, it's not that knee. I, I tried to help you. But you stopped the yeah. other man from jumping. Yeah, but what I could do is time it and I don't know, this is going to show my age here, but do you ever, and you have the Pele DVD, back, uh, the video VCR back in the day? Well, you got to let me land. I'm born in 91. I ain't got no. I'm, bro, you're three years younger than me. Yeah, no, nah, that's what I'm saying. Let me land. Paul is older than us. Paul is older than us, man. Let no, us I'm land, older man. than no one. Stop this. <laughs> Pele said he couldn't jump, but all he had to do was match you. So if I jump the same time as you and I put my arm there, mm. you're going to pull me up. It's a heavy arm. <laughs> I'll, I'm you know gonna. I let me. I let me have to land now. That's <laughs> a heavy Mario arm. mushroom. Yeah. <laughs> but you do that. All your is gonna push me up. Ah. All I know as well at the same time is you can't get up. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'll so always if you be look at a lot of my jumps or any ones that are winning, it's that. I'm not actually going that high. I'm just making sure you can't get up higher than me. Yeah. And that's how we used to win. I my time was a foul. I always <laughs> thought that was a foul. <laughs> <laughs> it, it is a foul though. I'm gonna try that. It is I'm a foul. Try that. It's a foul though. It's not not really. If you do, if you jump, you're pushing that. my man down, man. But they're sharing the space. Though. Sharing, Remember, yeah, yeah. you think about that. What's that? 0. 0.5 of a second. Yeah. yeah. Who's going? He's put his arm on his shoulder. Yeah, four arm on the shoulder. Yeah. It's but not, if I, it's if not I, enough. But if I come like this, and sorry, bro, if I go, do you get what I mean? It's a foul. Yeah. But if you just keep your arm bent. Yeah. It's true. But then still. there's like there's little techniques as well. I'm teaching the young boxer at Blues this. So, you know when people think holding the ball up is like holding the player. But they do that in it. Yeah, 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 yeah all of that. that. And fall back oh, on that. You can't do nothing. Because if yeah. I'm behind you now and I just. Move now what? I've just spun you. Yeah. You yeah. can't do nothing. And you see him falling and kicking the ball up. That's very rarely you get in that position. If you've got in that position as a striker, you've made the mistake. You're either there too early or there too late. And that's all you can do. Mm. But I say to the young box, and this is something you should try. I can't really show you it. But like, sorry, just turn your chair a little bit, please. This way. No, towards me, towards me, yeah. please. So if I'm, my arm's bent, yeah? Mm-hmm. Push through that, just lean forward, see? Mm-hmm. I can't stop it. Mm-hmm. But if I get you, now push through. <laughs> <laughs> Thanos! Yeah, yeah. You've got the infinity stone still. <laughs> but you get what I mean? Just those details are what people don't understand. Though, still, because yeah. your arm's already bent, so your arm naturally, your brain goes, let's close it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you go if stiff arm, stiff arm yeah. now we're here. You ain't got to train, you ain't got to train bicep, shoulder, whatever. Just. Mm. Try to close that. And which defender could you never do that to? I don't think there's ever someone I couldn't do it to. The one that used to get the best, the only game, I said this to one the other day, the, the only game when I thought, Joe, I'm and we going to have to think about life, was Chelsea away, Kurt Zuma's fifth game. Is it? When he first came to he Chelsea was before animal. that injury? He was an animal. Bro, when I say, animal. I jump for a header now, and I'm normally like, it's kind of, we had Jorelio Gomez, they told me I love you, but you know I'm asking, because I used to shout all the time. He's that stupid throw. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
it's come down with snow, bro. Yeah, yeah, come yeah. So high. Yeah, but he used to come with his mad throw, and he used to say to him, please, I don't care if you kick it off the pitch. Stop doing that throw, because I get mashed up every time. Because I'm fighting you. It's in the air too long, yeah. Center off's going, ah, oh, okay. So yeah, he's getting yeah. it. So they're yeah. rubbing the elbow. So anyway, he did this throw, and I've tried to pin Kurt, but he weren't there, and I was like, what? So I've jumped. As I've jumped, bro, he's headed the ball and kneed me in the back of the head. <laughs> And I went, no, hi, man, I have to beat the beat <laughs> I'm like, what? I'm small. I was like, six foot, he's kneeing me in the back of the head. You know when you were living in the car? Again, like, you know what? I just realised I went from that. But yeah, so when I was living in the car, yeah, because I just wanted to change my whole thing, that next week, I saw you. Mm. I'm still in the car at this point. Oh, Ross. So my head and my mental frame was like... He has nothing to lose. That's what I'm saying. So when you said... <laughs> so when, when a man said to me... Like and I saw, that, like I say, like you've come, you've done the picture. And I saw it, uh, the video. And I was like, oh yeah, yeah, whatever, that's cool, mm. that's cute, kind of thing. Yeah. And then I see, <laughs> that's cute. I see the nines <laughs> comment, and then I see you comment on nines. I'm like, oh, they think I'm that. I got tools in the yard. I, no, the I'm, yard. Like, that. I'm like, bro, the yard's man, parked outside. Yeah. <laughs> I will lick you with a spare tire. Different. <laughs> <laughs> I said I want to run him over, but I don't want to clean up the living room, man. <laughs> But that's but you know what I'm saying. My head was in that space, and you know what as well within that as well. See what I'm saying is when I was in that, I was so appreciative of everything. That's why we even came through to it. Do you remember I got injured? I'm wearing your boots, and you were like, "Bro, I was baffed." Yo, you're wearing my boots. I was like, "But bro, you said to me what you think I was gonna do." Yeah, that was a big thing, man. That Take was massive, for man. I can't lie. You get what I mean? And, that, and that's just how I am. So we literally had. Um, S.E. Dunn's done and them man on, on, the, on the podcast. They come up and gave me S.E. Dunn's top. Mm. And they were like, right, let's put it on. They were like, what? What, what are you wearing it for? Like, what do you mean you come with a gift? Yeah. The yeah, least yeah. I could do is wear it. Mm. Secondly, the least I could do is support your team. Because I don't know, Dunn. But for when I, you know that, um, the Kenny All-Star? Yeah. When he did that? That bro, style, yeah. <laughs> Those tracks is a legend. Right, but to be honest with you though, like not every, not many footballers have that type of, they're not like that. They're just not You know, like that's that. what I was going to say as well, yeah? Because like I've played football and I've been- He said past it. Yeah, nah, you, nah I'm, I'm talking about as in like, I've been in a professional environment, you okay. get it? Where at? Colchester. Huh? Yeah, oh, I, I, I had an eight, yeah, the league two. Oh, Salah, like you have to pay. <laughs> no, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Sure I'm, joking. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Don't ever sign this guy. You see? Are you giving last year for true? But no, I was bro, at sorry, Colchester. Apologize. Well, it was only 18 months. Yeah. But like, I'm coming from a whole different environment. You come from How a different environment. How difficult was it though, for you? Genuinely. It was, it was mad for me, like, because like, I've never, like, I, I was I signed the pro at 22, 21. Okay. So, so I'm you've already had a life before that. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. but all of these guys I've come from playing in an academy. Where, that, that, <laughs> bro, why am I doing? <laughs> why am I doing me like that? I'll be honest. Similarly to me, the beard helps, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. nah, it saves you, saves you. Teeth as well. Teeth will help as well. Your neck, your neck used to be long though. <laughs> no, your neck used to be long. Your neck, your neck, your neck's not as long now. Like, why? <laughs> But don't Sorry, you camera, find camera, don't camera. you find do you find it like difficult adjusting that like, because bro in that football world man are, like you see how you were saying you're putting on that top yeah. most footballers are on some nah man I'm too I'm much, I'm yeah like I'm just too, like, like, bro, like, yeah. I'm too bang for that but you know what I I'm not gonna say because when this comes out it'll be my son's birth my son's 14 on Tuesday so I've got him from today till when, um, Monday so I always think whatever you give out comes back so we, the two kit men at Arsenal. Both used to work for Watford. Mm. So I've just gone. My son's birthday. I'm coming to the game on Sunday because he's Arsenal. He loves it. Get me a sack of shirt, please. I'll pay whatever. Troy, this is you, man. It's fine. So he's he's going to have a memory now that stays a lass based off the respect that I gave at that point. Do you get what I mean? I, I, I hear what you're saying, but I could never... Joe, I'm going to go a little bit deeper and I'm, I'm going to kind of attack our race without meaning to. But we so stuck up on being the bad man, being the, the biggest, the flies. But sometimes you have to play the game, bro. It's true, man. You step into that world, you step into whatever world it is, and at your detriment, and this is what I, I want to be very clear now, when it comes to your detriment, if it, doesn't in, if it doesn't mean personal, if it doesn't in question your integrity, so what your values and what you stand for, does it really matter? If this... Sorry, T, if this white guy thinks you're not tough, 
Does it matter? No, I'm saying like no, you, okay. not you no, personally. You but, hurt me, but, anyway, but you no. know, but my point is, my point is, if the needs can, if we we all sit around and go, the powers that be are white middle-aged men. That's what the general consensus would be. Would we agree? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Facts. If he doesn't think you're tough, and he's talking to you like a quote unquote, and yeah. I'm still working on it. I'm not gonna lie. To it's you. maturity, innit? It's definitely no, maturity. What I'm to you it's is maturity. Think about this year, and yeah, you just gotta know yourself, man. Troy, do you know when people actually realize it? When you realize what you've lost through your own behavior. Troy, when you can look at a situation 100%. and go, wait, I've done all of that, which means I've got none of this now. Yeah. That's when you go and ask that, bro. But my point, what I'm trying to make is, let's use Raheem as a perfect example. My was that, guy, was that was that guy kind of. that guy who raw. No, not you. No, 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 I heard it. I'm just gonna let. I'm gonna. I'm gonna let it land, and then we'll carry on. <laughs> my, my guy from my state. But what I'm saying is, when it, when it, when you look at the, the the man that was giving him that grief, 40, 50, would say, he's done. But my point is, yes, you have to highlight it. But if he's personally coming at you, deal with it. If not, what's the be all and end all? Because I go home, Raheem goes home to a bigger house than me, more cars, more kids, whatever. This guy goes home and he's thinking about what happened with Chelsea. Yeah. 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 It's, it's true. Yeah. Do you get it's what I mean? Like, look Big at picture. it. That's what I'm yeah, trying to say. Yeah, like, yeah. bro, I've tried to use all of my life cups to say to people, for what, bro? For what? Was there a certain point in your life where you, you, you got that mindset, like a certain Joe, time I've in your career? I've always felt like that. Yeah. But I'll be honest, most of my dumb mistakes was out of fear and trying to fit in. Mm. That's most of my mistakes. I think a lot of men, it's the same for a lot of men. Yeah, whether but, they but know that or not. How many men say it? Yeah, that's what it is. It's about. I'll say, I'll say it straight, bro. When I'm, responsibility, man. All my friends will tell you, Troy's a softy. Because my, my actual at core, who I am, I like to make people happy. So I'm the, you know what, we're going out. First round's on me, you know. This is when I had no money. I'll get the first round. Yo, we're going to have a good night today. We're going to get... This girl, that girl, we're gonna whatever it might be the occasion. Yeah, the vibes. I'm I'm the first I'm the setter. Mm. Bro, if you see me now, not no, no couple years ago, we just get that in. Couple years ago, and we're out and we're at and I'm in an environment we're cool. By half ten, my shirt's off, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my shirt's off. TK. My shirt's off. <laughs> Because I'm from a Jamaican, I've got my vest on. Or I've got You're on the right on. path. You're on the right Do you path. Know what I'm saying? Man. Let him land. I might make let it to the chat, bro. <laughs> let PK <laughs> land. Man. Let PK <laughs> land, man. It's not too late. In the words of Lippy, let him land. But that's my point, though. Like, I'm that guy. I'm just, I'm the same as you, man. Every place I go out, everyone tells me, why are you here? And why is your shirt off? Yeah. But, and also, <laughs> bro, there's bare man here. Why you got your shirt off? I'm hot, bro. What do you mean? I'm comfortable. We're all drinking brandy. We're all drinking Hennessy. We've all got champagne. Whatever it might be. Let's have a good time. We're here yeah, to, but you know, with your footballing, for who? For your footballing life, though, like with your life as a footballer is not the same as some of the footballers today. Like they're, of course. They're at 16 years old, the world knows who they are. they got like one point something at 16 years old. Well, how like, many of them want to be tough, though? Not just football, but rap, but whatever. You try to portray a lifestyle that, yes, you may be around because you're around it like i was around it i weren't in it yeah 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 yeah. but you know what my friend all my friends respect me so i never said have you ever heard me say i've sold drugs in my life no no you ever told, told me say i stabbed or shot someone no. or i carried guns or i did this no never I respect you because you're yourself because man. i'm me and i'm around my friends and when i used to go running around my block and i've said this story enough times around my block everyone i know is four pubs there's a four pubs around charms yeah, it i used to run them Twice, twice a day, every day. Bro, come in here, man. What are you do that stupid money for? Bro, come in here, man. What are you trying to be tough for? Look at this money that we're getting money. I did it all. But when I pulled up three years later with a white buck. Yeah, it makes sense. I still did it. Did you see what I done? But that's my point. My point is I still did it. And now, 15 years later, you're still stood at the pub. I could buy it. So then what did you do today? Because you were speaking about like, what does it matter if this person's saying something? Like today now, they're all growing up in social media. Every single footballer grows up in social media. How do they avoid that mechanic that might have been easier in like 20... Do you know what 90% of them do? Have a private one. Finster. Gallem, hit me up, man. But that's what they do. They hit you on the private... They have a private one because what's the point? Because think of your favourite footballer now individually. You just lost. The post that comes out one hour after, not straight away, one hour after is... Fans were great today. We were disappointing. We go again next week. 
win 15, 20 minutes after the game. It's a selfie in the dressing room. It's the whole team taking a picture. Fans were incredible, blah, blah, blah. Wait, what's the difference in a week, bro? Listen, Raheem Sterling didn't post night for time. I was clocking it. I was thinking, this guy ain't coming about Let him. He scored two goals the other day. I'm seeing Clarks. I'm seeing bad things. So but, I know. But, but, but my point is, I've, I've been in that situation. Excuse me, I told you the Henny burps are real. <laughs> Excuse me. But the, the, re the realism of it is, when you break it actually all the way down, can you look at yourself in the mirror? So if we lose, we, um, I play for whoever, we lose. Did I do everything from that last Saturday to this following Saturday? If I did and we lost, no problems. The better team won. Guess what I get to do? Do it again next week. So a fan gets to do for the next week. We lost. I had or to listen run outside Arsenal Fan TV. Yeah. But I listened to Arsenal Fan TV. I listened to Filthy Fellas. I listened to whatever it might be that there is their thing. And then man said that he was sh and I I agree, they were and you all leave angry. I play on a Saturday, I finish at five thirty, six o'clock. At six fifteen, you think my kids give a shit that I play football? Dad, we got Mackies. Yeah. yeah. Life, life kicks back his life. <laughs> and at yeah, some life. point, you have to just go, I, it is what it is, isn't it? Yeah. My kids don't give it. And that was, that was the most humbling experience for me. We lost it, the FA Cup final, 6 0 against Man City. I had all my family there, whatever. My nan, love my nan to death. She's a big part in my life. She was like, You just met Prince William. She did say you lost it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She just went, <laughs> you, you were from Chelmsley Wood and just shook hands with Prince William and just took him down your whole team and said, this is you, this is, you know what I'm saying? He's a Villa fan though. But in, no, but in her head, she's like, you met royalty? Yeah. She's 80 odd. Yeah. She grew up on the Queen yeah, and yeah, seen yeah, the coronation. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Do you think she gives a f about football now? Mm. My mum could even watch the game because when we played, uh, she was there for the semi-final. She was outside and as soon as Wolf scored, she went back inside and because we won 3-2, in her head, it's because she stayed inside. <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Hey, mom's so, are crazy. So, you know, so now with the final, I ain't going outside. Yeah. She come out for the, the walking down and the anthem all that, and she went back inside. I didn't have to put her in a box for that, she could have stayed at home. But <laughs> Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. So when you what come back- What did she back, say after you were 6-0? I should have came out. Went, she, she, came out she went, I love ya. Yeah, man. That's what it's Do about. Do you know what I mean? And I've, got my ki and I've got my kids there, so. For me personally, going away was like, I went, I went like on holidays. Bro, <laughs> I'll never forget you. I went to the Seychelles, yeah. I got sick, my kidneys failed on me, but that's another story. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Kidney uh, failed. Oh yeah, I got, I, got, I got sick. I pulled up. You know when you pull up to, a, you've all been on holiday to a nice place. You pull up to certain places and you Not don't leave. <laughs> he, just, he, just, he just flew out to Barbados last week. He thinks he's a guy. Don't go nowhere. You know when you pull up to certain places and you're like, you feel bad. Because as you're drive there, there's like tin roofs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yard, yard. You know what I'm saying? Like I pull up and I'm like, ah, oh, I don't think I should Jamaica, be going to this, yeah. this resort, kind of. Mm. I feel like I should give back. So what we always do, whenever we go away, we do always go into the town and give out football. We always find a school and it give things back just for probably our own vanity, to be totally honest with you. But I just feel like I have to give something back. So anyway, we go to Seychelles. We do this. Bro, we're, we're at the resort. Worker. You... Your team, yellow, uh, Dini, right? Dini, I'm going. My missus goes. You know you're bigger than Watford. Yeah, thanks. Nah, at this point, do you know what I mean? At this I'll, point, do you know you're you bigger than are, Watford. Though, and I was like, I never thought of it like that. Well, there's a time you was Watford. Bro. But my point is, there's she people, there's people that don't know me, but they can, they can, they can identify me with a yellow shirt. Definitely. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yellow yeah, shirt. Yeah. I wear a yellow shirt as well. Is that one shot, big man? Go it's from me, Brom, blood. Brum yeah, yeah, let me get a Brom shot for the coach. <laughs> the Brom right? shot. Are we doing Brom shots? Bro. Are we the mixer there? Yo. <laughs> yo, dog. <laughs> Why not, man? For the coach, we're out here. For the coach, man. But with Coke, it's crazy, oh, thanks, though. Lippy. Thanks, thanks, Jordy. Jordy's just got in. No, Troy, Troy. Oh, oh. <laughs> 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 I love that, now you nah, I feel bad now, you I feel bad. You. I feel bad, I'm nah, so nah. bad. The beef still goes you on. Yeah, 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 nah, he's kidding you, man. Hey, give me this, give me this. The beef continues, sorry, sorry, man. Sorry, 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 I didn't even see it, my bad, my you bad. Have to act like the coke thing's childish, though. What, street? Yeah. Is that Bro, what we're doing? Bro, you've had one drink, what are you chatting 
bro. <laughs> <laughs> bro nah. The coke thing's childish, though, bro. Bro, I'm trying to become, I'm trying to play in the champ, bro. Uh, yeah, but you can't do that without coke, bro. You're out here, just had a full bottle of Volvic. I've seen you pour the whole thing in there. Now you're talking about one shot is childish. No, I'm talking about drinking with coke is childish. Oh, we, we're doing it straight, straight, yeah? yeah. No, but I sip straight, like, I'll uh, sip yeah, straight. Right, boys, yeah, bro. wait, 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 wait,
don't you think? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Nah, but honestly, though, don't you think? Don't you just think they thought like we can't? Money for, can't buy what Troy's got. Yeah, kind for, of thing. for a long, for a long time, for like, I was there for twelve years. The first two years were a bit. Meh. Obviously, then I got locked up, and then when I came home, the next eight years after that, I signed a five-year deal every year. Wow. Because they understood to keep me, to replace me, sorry, you would need to get a captain. You'd need to get a goal scorer. You'd need to get a... So about six you know, players, like, I, I had like four or five yeah, different yeah, roles yeah, that, yeah. that was me. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So I'm going to lie, I used it. Like I understood. Yeah. I, like I said, it goes back to Hale Zone. When these men were getting paid in the, the... Oh, oh, you think you could bring in Kapu on X? <laughs> you better pay me why? Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? You think you can bring in Delafeu? <laughs> you better pay me this, because when these men go missing, not them two, but when the when the foreign guys, when it's sunny, they're really good. Mm. But we've got this this dip between November and Feb. Who who you come, who you could be running back to? Yeah. The Troy Deedes, yeah. the Cleverleys, the Cathcarts, the Ben Fosters. We we're the ones that play and get you through it. Yeah. So you better pay me accordingly, because I know, I know what it's worth to you. And this is one thing I've I've always been looking at. I love maths. And I like I like money, so I understand. <laughs> it's giving enough of it away. <laughs> we'll talk about that after this. <laughs> but my point, what I'm saying is, when it comes to it, like the club gets two fifty for staying in the prem. I know how that is broken down and why that is broken down. Because look at for example, I could use it now. But this isn't now, but at the time I had friends. But Mark Noble is director of football at West Ham. You think I don't know what West Ham players are getting paid and what? their structure is if i was still you know what I'm if i'm still in the prem nobs why are you paying them man what's what's a fair price now whatever let's say he said for argument's sake the bonus structure is two million i just spoke to west ham there's his four mil ah oh, man's live bargaining you know what i mean so, so they, you're representing yourself huh? you're representing yourself no i'm on about for the team so it's, it's two different things so you get your contract is this you and your agent can figure that then you get the bonuses. Yeah, yeah, the end of season. So where you finish, yeah. how that looks. The club might say, we want you to finish top 12. So anything less than 12, we're not playing you. Do you get what I'm saying? So, okay, you think we should finish 12th. I think our team should finish 14th based on what we currently have. Remember, this has to be done before the first game of the season. So the transfer window's still open, but I'm looking around going, yo, my man's not really... My man should be at Colchester. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> you should be playing with me. You should be playing with me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, yo, PK. What's PK doing? <laughs> no, but my point is- you look around and you see and you figure it out. All right. I think, I think our team is here. Not just me, but the conversation we've had in the dressing room. If we could get to 40 points quick, we're safe. Okay. If we could get to that by March, who knows? That could be from 17th to 12th is the is the barometer where we're putting ourselves up. You get what I'm saying? And then you flip it down, the club goes, we think you should finish top 10 based on all your earnings. Not based on your potential. Wow. Is it? It's just wages. Because they're looking yeah. at the wages, The business, bro. bro. They need to make they're looking, look they're looking at it. Should finish. They're looking at where, how much everyone's on. That's mad. It's not based on their actual abilities, especially at a club like Watford, because I'll, I'll tell you straight about the way most of us manipulated it, we got paid way too much. Really? I'll tell you facts. I'll tell know. you exactly what I'm on, but I'll not on here. You don't have to do that. No, but what I'm saying yeah, is, and yeah. you'll understand what, there was like five of us in my bracket, and then there was a hell of a drop. Yeah, right. Do you get what I'm saying? Troy, let me ask you a quick, just a quick question. Because you've got all this knowledge and you know you, like what was going on in and out of the clubs and that, and you had the, the links. Did players ask you like, or come up to you with their conscience like, yo, Troy, what do you think of? Yeah, of course. But then at the same time, the club did as well. Oh, yeah, we're gonna offer, you. Yeah, we're going to offer my man this. Will he take it? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. I know where they're at, where they're what. And I I'm think that's going. more than being a captain, though. I feel like when, when, you, when, you're, when you've got that push, like pe- ma- managers and everyone knows when a man's let got me, push. Let, I could give you one, one honest fact, right? And this is no lies. I can pull the contract up and you can see. Remember when Fozzy did the whole pull his contract out and mm. Fozzy went on his podcast and told you about all the ins and outs. I come out of jail and that year I came out of jail, I was out of contract. So when I was locked up, obviously I came back, I was on tag and all of the that goes with that. that that's a whole nother podcast, but there's a whole other that comes with that. Try to it, I'll brief it. So you know, obviously been on tag, you know when someone does that tactic. Mm-hmm. Remember I'm playing football, that was going off. Yeah, every two seconds. So, so the, the phone back home is Man, ringing. Going mad. 
but I'm not at not home. Anywhere near it, yeah. So three times that went, try to send me back to jail. Oh, is it? No, but I've told my, my PO, this is how it is, where to tear. Bro, I played Blackburn away on the day. I, I, I had, because I had to move my time from seven till seven to like adjust, bro, I'm like driving up to Blackburn at 10 a.m. I'm sat in the car, like, like I'm wait at the front door, sorry, going, let me out, let me out, get in the car, bang, drive to Manchester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Drive, play, score, do whatever, back in the car, got to fly back. i am not got time for the manager to be debriefing the game. And, oh, but I got, I got to get back, I'm going to jail, what do you mean? <laughs> and I remember that. That is you know, And then, and then I, and on one day, the team travelled the day before to Cardiff away. Mm. Couldn't go with them. I couldn't go. Yeah. You gotta go the so next I, day. I'm, I gotta go next, but it's a night game. Right. Oh, so now oh. I can't leave until three in the afternoon because I know the game could happen. Mm. Plus there may be drug testers there. Mm. So I have to account for if that happens. So mm. while I want to be there earlier yeah. and prep and all of that, I've got to Do manipulate the, other the stuff, afterwards. Yeah. Do you yeah. get what I mean? Maybe traffic, maybe whatever. Bro, three o'clock, I couldn't leave my house in Birmingham. I got to Cardiff at 5.45. We travelled as a team at six o'clock. <laughs> so for that game, Cardiff away, do you know what I had? An egg and crest sandwich with discos. <laughs> discos. <laughs> egg and crest sandwich You better is not have crazy. scored. You better not have scored on that. We lost the game 3-1. And the worst thing about it, T, I was on a bench. God, oh, it raging. Because it. it was in well the week. It. it was on a Tuesday, so I scored on a Saturday and he put me on a bench. I'm going to rest you for Saturday. Mm. So you didn't even need to do all that. And I didn't even have to do it. I was like, bro, you could have left bro, it at home. Yeah, you could have told me, man. Like, man, I've been grafting with the PO since Monday and Tuesday to play on the Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. I've done 15 different letters. And they know your above. situation as well, right? Yeah, they knew. But but remember, think about this as well. It's not really the same now, but you have to go and see the referees before the game. So you an hour and a 15 before the game, you give the team sheet in, you have a little chat, like, listen, lads, this is how I want the game to be run, Rare Tete. Bro. I'm going there, do that, go back. Troy, can you come back? How are you padding the tag? Oh, the ref's asking you that. So they've got to see, it yeah. Because if I leave it loose and you put your stud in there, yeah. I'm at how yeah, hazard yeah, yeah. to him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got to get it padded, strapped, and they're coming. I remember, you know what I'm saying? Do you remember when what? Jermaine Pennant had it? At yeah. Birmingham, he had it on bareback, bruv. Mm -hmm. You could just see the big thing through yeah, yeah, yeah. his leg. I was like, listen, he gets the wrong tackle. He's going, he's going back to the walk. Yeah. One thing with me, yeah, I love football, not for the finance game, but it's changed my whole life. Like you mad? Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. I could have been doing X, Y, Z, but you've made not only me live comfortably. My mom, my dad, my dad obviously passed away, but my dad, my, my brothers, my sisters, my nan. And my kids, this is you've made generational wealth that was never a thing. Yeah. Mm. And that's not gassing it up like I'm dull and that, but just you changed everything. Yeah. Bro. Do you get yeah. what I'm saying? So that changed everything, yeah. And you'll never see me stick off an older footballer. You'll never see me stick off a new one. Because I believe everything has their time and their cycle. I'm a big hip hop fan. Mm. Mm. Do you get what I mean? So when people talk about Biggie and Tupac, massive. Mm. But we don't need to put them in the same conversation as Jay Z at 50 mm. in my opinion mm. and we don't need to put drake and 21 savage with with them do you yeah, know what i mean like yeah yeah it was moments in time basketball mj lebron it's not a conversation because lebron six foot ten he would have dunked on michael jordan do you get what i'm saying it's generational the, the game moves forward what we are lucky as footballers and as athletes is to be a part of that don't disrespect it enhance it hmm. i love football bro yeah that's for the crowd. No, that's for the crowd. The crowd's chatting shit, Tigo. You see them today? About what? I can't remember. They didn't, <laughs> they didn't, they didn't agree. <laughs> they didn't agree with me. That's all I Man, know. I one sip of the Hennessy forgot yeah, what he was nah, talking I about. I can't remember. But, but. but that's, that's my point. And so, uh, to, to, to double back to the, the finances, yeah, I, could, I can give you one story. So I, I'm in Miami. Me, Disc, Justin, the three of my boys. We're in Miami now. My agent flies us out because... We had this agreement, if we did X, Y, and Z, he would pay for the lads to go to Miami. So there we go there, and it's like Leicester. I'm chatting to Claudio Radieri, I'm talking to the director of football who left, and the name's got out of my head. I'm chatting to Wes, Wes Morgan, that's my guy. Come on. Oh, so we're, that's the weird they want to do. You know what I'm saying? So we're, we're chatting like, Troy, yo, yo, we want ya, we want ya. Listen, I'm like, bear in mind, bro, I gotta paint the Miami picture for you. 
We're at, we're Man, at, yeah. we're at the pod table. I'm listening. <laughs> Quick at the pod sure. table, all white. You see where all the rappers go? They go live. Mad. Yeah. I've done my b- there, bro. Like, when I say I done, but I done about 20 bags in that, man. Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. No, but I'm saying, like, we've done that because we're in Miami. I'm, I'm shirt open. I think I'm Young G. Jodes. You know what I mean? <laughs> Man's out doing the rappers in there, you know? That no, oh. I thought it was a competition, what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Every time they order, so, yo, get that again. See it, yeah. Ballers should always beat rappers, though. Nah, nah, rappers make different, but like, American rappers, the American rappers. I'll tell, you, I'll tell you one story, yeah. So we're in Live now, yeah. Going up, it's, it, you know what I mean? Let's do this thing, it's, it's heavy. They get Mario, no, R&B Mario, oh singing. Oh my God. I'm, this is when Mario was heavy, like. What? What was this? When 2000, was 2001? <laughs> no, wait, tell me. No, what was this? 2001? <laughs> you see, if you played Let Me Love You Now, you'd have a girlfriend, you <laughs> anyway, let me just. I'm sick Mario of this. 2001. No, so we said Mario Winans. <laughs> Mario Winans. <laughs> Mario Winans, not Mario. Not Mario. 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 Mario, Mario Winans. Yeah. I just wanna I know. know. I know that's 2001. No, he was I'm saying on. Mario, not Mario Winans. Mario, let me love you. Oh, let me love you, Mario. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let Mario, Mario land. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let Mario They're land. They're both from 2001. Let me again. <laughs> old school though, fam. Hold They're old. Wait, wait. Let me just finish. You played that when you got a girl. Have I what? You ever played that tune when you got a girl? Yeah, R&B of course. Of course. Shut your mouth then. Thing, of Shut course up. We're not in a club. <laughs> not in a club. No, but and you're not missing. In the club wait, 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 wait. You're missing way. the point. You're missing the point. You got to let man know. So land. we do the, this is 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. The club shuts at four. Man goes on the stage. And if you've been live, it's like a, it's like a walk around Never stage. Never been. Man, this man singing, let me love you. But the girls know he's here now. So the room. Is 400 to 1. Mm, what? Bro, they're letting every girl in. Think of any nationality, there's a girl in that room. Yugoslavia. Mozambique. Anything. 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 Mozambique. <laughs> Bro, it is mental. So what I'm saying is we do this now. I'm thinking, because I'm an idiot. I'm thinking we're back home. Let me send my man a couple of drinks. I sent him two bottles. You sent Mario bottles? You sent Mario bottles. <laughs> <laughs> You look test. To be fair, there's a chance, there's a chance he might look over, picture him in a yellow shirt and go. No! Yo, yo, no. yo! Do you know against I Leicester, against you know, Leicester. I did even bigger than that, because the DJ at the time is Stevie J, I don't know if you know he's yeah, a DJ. Yeah, yeah, Stevie yeah, J. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Stevie J is doing it. He's a, I sent him two bottles. Stevie J. This is a bad this is a bad list. Yeah, From Love and Hip Hop. I was scared on in here, man. No, he made up a mistake. He's a legend, man. Like, he's, he's a legend. legend. Stevie yeah, yeah, yeah. J's a bad boy producer. He's a legend. In yeah. Miami, this guy's there. Nah, Stevie J no, is a legend. legend. He's a re- he was a resident at Live at that time. Yes. He's on choose for Beyonce. Yeah, point is this. Everyone. yeah nah, go on. Man, think about this, yeah. I've just sent four bottles of champagne to two strangers, you know. <laughs> they don't know me. I don't know them. But old ladies, like, they might not take. Oi, take the drink. Time to shout out Birmingham. Jesus. That's where, that's where I was at. Yeah, he's on it. I'm, I'm like, yo, all here. I want you to do is shout 0121. There's a Birmingham in America, though. That's where you went wrong. Alabama. Birmingham, Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> I, didn't I, exactly. I didn't even know. I'm like, and yo. Birmingham. <laughs> they were like, shout out Birmingham. 0121. Troy's in the mix. What would you mean? For anyone in that place could tell me nothing. 20 more bottles, bro. What do you mean? And we were just but going Troy's off. in the mix. No, I He's gone. That. I rate. I Troy's in the it. mix. At the, sa- at the same time. And this is, and if I'm lying, he'll come on here and tell me. Phil Jones is out there. Oh my God, this is the weirdest room ever. This story. <laughs> Phil Jones was in the Mario dance. Nah, let me land. Let, listen, land, listen, land, listen. Land, go, land. go. So, so my, my thing is this. My agent looks after Klebs. Uh-huh. Clevs was at United. Of course. Oh, so now, so, so Phil, Phil's come in. Yo, can we land on your table? It's him and his missus. Well, I let Phil, him land. I let him land. Phil's got a mixed race missus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah We've yeah, seen yeah, these yeah. things. We've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Let so, him land. So we go. Yeah. Bro, are you are you on you on this like that? You're with, like, the, with the man. Like, yeah, yeah. Hey, bro, sit there. You're good, man. Do you know what I mean? There's three Phil of it. us. Well, four including my agent, but three of us and Tim. And we're just like, you and your missus, bake off, drink. Because... You see me, if I go out now, me and my missus, I'm with you, man. Yo, you better have a good time. No, you better yeah, have a good yeah, time. Of course. I'm a strategic. Yeah. Strategic. Me, me and my missus are going, 
Oh. Can't believe what Mars is doing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I never do, I never do that. How's he done this? Yeah. His shirt's off. What's <laughs> you know he what doing? <laughs> he's got, <laughs> he's got his shirt off, off chatting to girls. He's got a missus at home. Why yeah. is he doing that? <laughs> so that? So obviously we, we, we work off that. So anyway, man's chill with us, whatever. So we've got Phil, Phil in the thing. And these are shouting out Birmingham. My boys from home, yeah, have never heard that. What? We're in Miami. And they're shouting out Birmingham. Yo, get me things. I'm like, oh my God, here we go. Um, but anyway, yeah, long story short, we're in there. I had to take a call from Claudio Ranieri in the club. No This is way. the weirdest he's night. Un- he's hard to understand at the best of times. These times Mario, these times Mario Wine is singing. Yeah, all I'm hearing is, no, no. you should let me laugh. I'm like, hold on. I've got my because it's, it's a big tune. Mad tune. It's a massive tune. It, agree? It's a massive tune, bro. It's a massive tune. We can't deny it. It's a big tune. It's a big tune. It's a big tune. I know that Claudio, English a bit sketchy. Troy, we would like to uh, take you. I'm like, bro, I'll be honest. I'm going to have to call you back. Is that what you mean? I'm going to have to call you back. Right now, I'm in Miami. Time zones are out. All you hear in the background is, boom, boom, boom. You know, you yeah, just hear that. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to call you back tomorrow and we'll discuss it. Long story short, we have the chat. We want to get you in. The guy, type of the football company was saying, we want to get you in. Craig Shakespeare, I know Shaky, want to get you in. West, uh, Wes, Got to get you in. Bro, you and Jamie up front, we go to the prem with Riyad Rude on the side, with, with Kante behind. Because you will mash them up, Jamie running behind. Bro, you you ready to be like second fiddle to him. That medal could have been yours, you know. No, no, wait, wait. Oh, wait. Second fiddle to who? I'm Troy. Oh, you did that. You did that, man. You did the no, Ibra. but No, but it worked because Wes was like, yeah, you are Troy, but I need you to be Troy. Mm. I'm like, Jamie could do the running in behind thing. But I'm a I'm an elbow man, I'm a push man. And when he gets there, if you can't shoot Wes, tell him to pull it back. If he yeah. pulls it back, I'll be on the penalty spot, I'll score. Yeah. So we had that whole chat. It was all ready to go. And, and basically, uh, when I left Wat- uh, Warsaw for Watford, because it was like 300 grand, it was a 25% salon clause for Warsaw. So w- Watford are like, oh, what the 30 mil? That's going to be that. It needs to be 40. We got to make a decision. How do you want to do this? I'm like, fam, I need to go to Leicester because they just won the league. It's irrelevant if they could do it again, but Champions League. Yeah, madness. If I play, if I play like three games, I'm probably getting an England call up. Mm. Do you get what I mean? Like we can, we Plus can do Plus the most team. important thing. Yeah, like the my, commute. my whole legacy. Yeah. <laughs> The commute is a big one. Oh, and also, it's 45 minutes away. <laughs> exactly. That ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. It ain't bad. But for this money and what they're talking, I'll move there. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, just, I drive 45 minutes to see mum and nan. Do you know what I mean? So anyway, we did all of that. We're, and there's a picture. My agent took a perf. You know, like one of them things, he takes a perfect picture. Because I'm walking around here. I remember these are the times where the shorts had their hand all the way through. I have got my hands in. I'm like, <laughs> all right, bro, let's do it. And he's like, if we have to back up them, man, let me know. Because these are, my boys are from home. They don't think football. They're like, if they say they're not going to sell you. Yeah, let the man oh, them know. We'll meet him outside yeah, we'll and he'll fucking we'll sell pull we'll pull that's, that's how That's how our mindset was. So anyway, we go back into Watford. They're like, give us one last chance to convince you to stay. Because I'm at 30 million. I'm like, I ain't running. I'm a big boy. Anyway. I'll come back fat as f- And I will injure every player until you sell me. I'll <laughs> promise, I promise you I'll injure every player. Give us one last chance to, to save to, to make this happen. We need you, blah blah. And they got in that year, uh, Walter Mazzari, Italian mm. uh, coach. Mm. My agent's like, All right, when we pull up, yeah, you, you're me, I'm the agent. When we pull up, yeah, go in there, say goodbye to all the staff, and go get your boots. Let them know you're ready to leave. I'm like, all right, cool, let's play the game. So I come in, bye everybody, thank you for everything. Hey, Chairman, thank you, appreciate the time, look after yourself, go get my boots. Go to my car, it's about three minutes after, phone's ringing. Yo, what do you want? Mm. What do you mean, what do I want? Mm. What do you want? What to these, say? Yeah, these people are talking about, name your price, you can get it. Got you. Oh, wow. That's what they get, him. man. And I was like, six figures. Well, let's play then. Yeah. yeah. That means our former boy, yo, what should we get? <laughs> <laughs> what should and, we and get? A, and at this point, you look up inside at, at a, a grey Lamborghini Aventador, small, Mate, every time we're driving up, speed bump me off. Uh, can you take the speed bump out, please? Oh, my days. Oh, you lot thinking it's money. 
I was getting the money. Oh, forget that. I thought he was going to change the car. You took out man the speed bump. I'm saying take the speed bump out. You know what? I've got one box. It's only 10 seater, but I feel like other people are going. So can I get two boxes? Knock the wall out. I want a bottle of champagne Mbappe. every time. Mbappe. Mbappe. And then also at this point, they're going, yeah, yeah, you can have that. You can have that. Do you know what, actually? My boys don't like walking from the bottom of the thing. To, can I get two director's car parks? Have it. What? What? You own the club. You know what? Fair dues. You know what? Fair no, dues. That's cold. That's, cold. that's cold. You know what? Cold, you deserve that. But all, deserve of that, that. all of that comes from when I was going to go Villa, I signed on a on a on an agreement because obviously I, went, I got locked up, did all that, scored the Leicester goal. Scored, first time I scored 20 goals in the season. I'm out of contract. Villa offered me 15 times more than what I was on. Newcastle offered me 15 times more than what I was on. In my head, loyalty, respect, you just stuck through me while I've been locked up. Yeah. I'll sign a lesser deal, but sh- did you like this? I went to your, the other guy, mm-hmm. uh, Giancarlo. Thank you, but I don't owe you nothing. Thank you, okay. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> He's not Jamaican. <laughs> <laughs> at that point to me, everything was done. Do you get what I mean? It was yeah. done at that point. I, you've been loyal to me when I was locked up and now I'm home, I'm not, yeah. but we're even now. Because I could have jumped ship. Did he really consider going to Villa? You being a blue and that? Was, he, was it really nah, a nah, thing? Nah. That? I, do you know what? I did. Because I could, t- I could tell you the numbers. I was on five grand a week then. Villa offered me 30. It's a big jump, boy. Oh, yeah. No brainer. So no co- brainer. conversation with That's me. like, yo, Tottenham come to you, Lippy. You gotta... Brother, um, it's a difficult conversation. I'm in the white, I'm in the white shirt. I'm in the, who's Arsenal, bro? Because obviously he's got his family. They're all oh, blues. Right, no, forget, forget the family and all that. My brother was actually at Villa. Okay, my younger okay. brother. But, you have to, but what you have to remember is, my dad, my good friends, my best friend, they were Zulus. Blue. They're Blues. out here, Blues hooligans. Mm. There's a picture. There's a picture in um, St Andrews of my dad sitting on the on the railing. There was a there was a time that Blues jumped the fence to fight Leeds. My dad's on the picture. Okay. So my my boys like. That's heritage. Are you sure? Yeah. Because the whole city will turn against you. What do you want to do? That's that's what I'm thinking. Like, are you really so I was just like can't be done but i use that to my advantage to get paid well boys look we could go literally we could go on all day because i've got like another three pages of notes but it's turning into a really the most podcast um <laughs> big up spray that's my guy oh legend spray that spray's my great guy show. man no, great show legend. he does hours though like he, yeah, yeah. yeah i feel like i haven't really answered any questions so i will give you five questions and i'll be quick with them all right stefano kaka i'll just start my guy was he stronger than you Sorry, sorry. No, no, that's the, that's the yeah, question. Yeah, was he stronger than you? No. Wasn't? Are you sure? Hey, what? Stefan never been in the gym. What What you basing strength for? Ross. Strength is not gym, though. So man that's what I'm asking gym. you. What you basing strength for? I don't know, but he just looked like... He's flattened. He like he's flattened bro, wait, wait, he wait, wait, like wait. wait. He would do that. Who's the strong... Daddy is too strong for you. Remember Daddy... Kick- yeah, 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 yeah. Can't yeah. do kick ups. Yeah. Can't do kick ups. Can't do kick ups. Google Troy versus Daddy. There's a picture of him on the floor. Me standing up. <laughs> oh my days. This is this is this is Daddy. Yeah, Daddy is my guy. He knows I love him to death. He used to be at Millwall. Just sit the back and he go, Yeah, boys. Like loud, mad loud, bro. Mm-hmm. Oi, we're gonna get him today. I said, Tell him, Daddy, shut your f- mouth, man. Let's just play. Yeah. Like, you got to get to me. You're not gonna intimidate the white boys. You with me now? What are you talking about? <laughs> Because now, like you said, it ain't about how big you are and how much you lift. How much do you want it? Hmm. Footballers are competitive everywhere. Here. You were one of the driving forces of the Black Lives Matter Premier League kind of involvement. Uh, three years on, are you happy with what's there what in this question? place? Uh, you say I've been involved in it. I forced it with Wes. Me and Wes forced it. My missus did the badge. Oh, yeah, I was going to say you designed the logo. Yeah, right? we yeah. own the badge. We did all of that. Um, we general, gave, general, general. We gave four hundred twenty thousand to the Stephen Lawrence uh, charity. That's mad. Yeah, man. I just think, I thought it was port- important. I still think it's important. I think you know when people say like taking the knees lost its value. It hasn't. For I'm saying people only see this. Mm-hmm. They don't see behind. Yeah, they yeah. don't see. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm. So people are like, there's no change. You know how hard it is to change a law. It takes three, four, five years, maybe even ten. With the will. Do you get what I mean? Which isn't necessarily and also, but the more publicly you are making the stance and the change, 
he's driving behind the scenes because they go, do you think the Premier League want people, do you think the Premier League wants to put a badge on them? No, of course not. Do you know how much I wanted to argue, uh, not even argue, do you know how much I had to stick it on them? Like, we're going to do this without you because Watford went to me, whatever you want, Troy. Watford, to be fair, whatever one, anyone says to Watford, they were on the pulse. And this is what I love about them. Scott Duxbury will always be my friend for, for this situation. He went, I don't know what it's like to be abused. I'm a white middle class man that's earning a lot of money. Whatever you want, we're going to run with. That's a real one. So that's a you, real one. You, that's how you actually look that's at it. That's how you stand with it, us. In order to lock down, in order to get his by closed doors, Watford was the only team that had it not only around the edge, not only in the stadium where people would see it, but we had it on the dugouts. Mm, so whenever hard. someone was coming on, you s- like no matter where the camera was pointed, you saw it. You saw it. Yeah, yeah. And we've done that, and we've had conversations. It's grown, and it's thing. And now we're in a, um, a B pad group, which is basically back players. Uh, so it's me, Darren Moore, Wrighty. Ooh, Darren Moore. Paul Nevin, come back to me. Paul Nevin works for England, works for them. Shola Amiobi, Wes Morgan. Shola, legend. Love Shola. Wes Morgan, big Wes boy. Morgan. And there's other people. Big boys. Um, Les. Used to work at Nana, Wes is, uh, Les is doing this too. Okay. And it's the thing, you said, well, QPR didn't take the D. Never, never said nothing. Nah. Because Les Behind has the made, scenes, Les he's busy. Because QPR is the most represented team in the whole of the country. So at that point, Les right, goes, State, if, if, Le, if Les goes, I'm not taking a knee. <laughs> Bro, you can stand up and clap if all right. Yeah, because they're catching up to him. Because you're from you're, the women's yeah. game. Yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, he's been yeah, doing yeah, this. Doing he's been it doing this. But, um, the ex Chelsea director of football, Michael, his name's got out of my head. The black one, yeah? Black one. Uh, uh, something long. It begins with an E. Nigerian. Nigerian, Nigerian name, yeah. Bro, the smartest human I've ever met in my life. Bro, in their meetings, not only tongue twisted them, tied them up, put them in a bow, and said, now what are you going to do? Smartest man I've ever met in my life. I swear to God, it's so sick, bro. So I'm in these meetings with them, and we're, well, we are making change, but it's slow and it's steady. And obviously you got Wilf decided not to take the knee. I had a chat with him. I don't, I don't think that's the right way, but you're a grown man, do what you want to do. Ivan, my boy, bro, I don't agree with it, but do what you got to do. And my only challenge to both of them and people like, are you doing enough in your community? Because if you are, I'll shut my mouth. Do you get what I mean? Watford have said to me, Troy, you're clear to do whatever you want. So we're going to do it. Do you as a Premier League not want to do it? Do you want to be the, the, the people that say they don't want to do it? They were like, no. As that happens now, on mute, Kevin De Boyna, first one on. Never forget it, Kev. That's my, I always say that's my guy. And I'll champion him for this. He was like, we're with Troy. Man City going to do what Troy's doing. That's co- Kevin De Bruyne, oh. gingers and now, black. Can I, can I say Let's something? Stick together, huh? They won the league. I don't mind now. Yeah, hundred. Have that. Have that. Take that. Take that. Kevin, Kevin De Bruyne, Felix. These are my guys. Now nah, let them land. Let them land. Let me land, Tico, man. Know. What you do? What and you then want? On, and then on the flip side to that, Seamus Coleman. We were Troy. We know he's a real one. Seamus Coleman, on, the then, greatest right back. And then and then oh, and then, and then, and then the third, and he does get the credit because he deserves a lot of credit. Jordan Henderson. Oh, Tico. <laughs> no Tigo, 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 of course, Tigo, of course. Tigo, I've spoken to I've, sp- I've spoken to Anton about Jordan Henderson. You don't think it's all about football? It's not all about Listen, football. Listen, one, one, one. I think got my one, bad. One thing, my one bad. thing that we all have to appreciate in this room, yeah. And then Nobs came in because Nobs are my guys, right? But see them two, yeah, from from a, a white background, white. You know, like, don't really need to have any association with us. Could kind of step back and go, yeah, 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 yeah. handle it. Bro, they step forward for us. Head man. first, yeah. With that, man. And and they don't care about the repercussions. They're not doing it to be cool. They're not doing it. Jordan, Jordan pushed the whole NHS thing. Yeah. So Jordan made that. The eBay thing came from Mark Noble. Because Mark Noble's best friend is head of communications at eBay. So he connected one and two and went, we can now make all the money. So they put the all the shirts up, if you remember with the badges on the front. The first game was a badge on the front, a badge on the front. A Black Lives Matter badge, which again, Alicia did, my missus did that, and an NHS one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That all got sold, that made a amount of money. That all got sold through eBay, so they come straight back to Nobs, and eBay, to be fair to them, covered the costs, and the VAT, you take all of that money. Hendo went, bang, that's for the NHS. The following week, if you look, because remember, I was arguing for this, because. We've never changed the Premier League badge in 27 years. years, whatever it was. But I'm like, we've never had this. 
you've never had this moment to go. Yeah, let's go. Yeah. We're with all you, because look at it, the, the stats say 72% of the Premier League is of mixed race heritage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mad. What do you want to do? Do you want to tell all these people you don't care about them? Talk about the UK, talk about British. Where's the Queen from? Germany. Scotland. But it's fine. But she's got German. She's no, got German. Yeah, she's got German. No, no, I've where's, concentrated. Where's trust me. Where's Philip from? They, Denmark. Oh, any Polish? He's Polish. D- he's German. German. Polish, German. Polish, German. Polish. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. See, I knew yeah. I was there. Concentrate. So my point is, oh, oh yeah. no! Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Welcome to Filthy Fellas. Yes. Yeah. He's a filthy fella. Yeah. Hey, I love that. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, when it when it comes to it, is what is actually English? What is actually British? Let him land, man. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so my right point, what I'm saying to you is like, when we actually break it down, and this is why I'm so clear about education, I'm so big on education, is everyone thinks the Queen represents Britain, but she's Scottish. Yeah. And we don't even get on with the Scots. Yeah. Scotland. So what are we talking about? Glasgow. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. And then, they tried to leave. And then, so, so that was, that was like, I just hit it with facts. I don't, I don't like to hit people with opinion. Because opinion means you could think, oh, so the best, I could think of the worst. That's an opinion. But the fact is, this is where this lady's from, this is where this male's from. Mm-hmm. And fundamentally, when it comes to it, in this argument, we could all agree that that white guy that they're now on his neck is wrong. Mm-hmm. Even when I heard that you designed the badge, the, the BLM, I was like, bro, like you proper, you're, pr- you're not just a footballer saying, yeah, BLM. Like you're proper. You're really in this yeah, thing. You're yeah, really, yeah, yeah. Like, you really put your neck on the line for this thing. Man, ain't gotta give Trey condoms, man. Nah, serious, man. <laughs> that's what we say. No, 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 we got three quick questions now then. Troy, best player you ever played with? Oh, I was going to ask that. I'm going put his middle finger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the condom takes from me. Um, <laughs> best player I've ever played, Gerard Delafeu. I was thinking that. Is yeah. it? I was, you know, Bro, I was, had to be. Shambles. On his day, you can't stop him. Your, fa- your favourite player ever? Ooh. No. It's always going to be R9. Go he knows. Then. I'll let real you tell the story. One. That's a real Wait, one. He gives the jersey, oh. innit? I got, I got the R9 jersey. It's not, it's not a question, but the same thing. Ronaldo and Messi as well. We've got to go with that one as well. Uh, well it's just said his favourite player. It is a question, but it's fine. I would say Ronaldo because I was able, because I was able to watch the development and watch the growth. Um, is Jude Bellingham going to be the best player in the world? Uh, depends on what you, how you see football. What does, what does the best look like for you? Jude Bellingham. Because what I would say to that on the flip side is no one ever said Zidane was the best player in football. Kind of. I, I remember in 98, 99, in 98, maybe not even 98, 2000, they 100% but did. But my, po- my point what I'm saying is no one ever went, that's the best player, that's the guy I want to be like. Zidane in 2000, Euro 2000. He was crazy. He ran the tournament. But Still R9 around. Thank you. Really, like, there, was, there was, there was, there was, there was. Luis Figo. But there was a time, there was a time that Dan was the man. He was the man, was bro. Game. For two years, he wrapped it. R9, we could all agree, best striker ever lived. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Facts. All player, agree. player. Facts. Yeah. How many years he, since he retired? God knows. Long, it's a, a long time. You know, it's a long time. Yeah. Do we ever talk about Zidane in the same breath? Do we ever talk we about Ronaldinho, Kaka, Figo, no, it is. No, it is. Nedved? Chat whoever you want to do. Do you know what it is, poet? Chat to the youth, them. You see when man try to talk about Zidane on Twitter? They kill me. They do, I swear to God, bro. Zidane's, Zidane's Wikipedia is weird cause, and kids these days don't understand that. They're not, un- it's good, they're doing a stat argument. Zidane, people will go, oh, I scored five goals. Zidane was a master. Ma- a master. master. Almost said it was Almost in a Brum accent. Master. 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 But no, well, on, on the flip yeah. side to that, remember I put you on game. He scored that goal at Hampton, Hampton Park. People think that happened in, I don't know, freaking Barcelona. So that was in Scotland, that, that final. I Same place as Queen's watching it. It's a big, the it's body. a big goal. Yeah, yeah. Is that, it Scotland? That's Hampton Park. It's in Shrek's country. That's crazy, bruv. I can't believe that. But we've come into a, a generation that's based on stats. Yeah. I blame FIFA, that's man. I blame FIFA. As soon as FIFA started getting popular, yeah, everyone would tell to me, oh, get this player because oh. goals assist, goals I, assist. I, Next thing you know, everything's I, goals I had assist. this conversation in the barbershop last week, yeah. I'm, an, I'm a nice guy until you annoy me, innit? So we're in the <laughs> barbershop. I'm getting a trim. And there's a young... Young guy trimming, and he's like, 
bro, we played FIFA where to tear. I'm like, oh, I don't really play FIFA still. 34, like, <laughs> do you think it? He's like, I'll be honest, bro, your FIFA car is dead. She I'm like, wait, how old was he? How old was he? He's like 22. Okay, that's the that's, but, that's, but listen, that's, that's too old. But I'm like, wait, hold on. What's your name? How old are you? I'd never met this guy before, you know, until yeah. this until time. Until this time, yeah. And he's like, yeah, yeah, where's it? I went, ah, oh, how many FIFA cards you got? Finish. Convo done. Convo and he went done. zero. I went, I just remember this. When you go home and play your game, that's my life. <laughs> <laughs> Now, nah, now, nah, give me that. Now, nah, give me that skin fade I wanted, man. <laughs> I, I, I pay for my man's trim. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, bro, but like that's the world that we live in now. Your FIFA card wasn't good enough to suggest that you're you're like not ninety. I don't really know what FIFA cards are. I'm assuming they're out of a hundred. Nah, it's not out of a thousand. A thousand. <laughs> What's yours? What's yours? Bro, I'm not the one that said it. Go be up, my man, bro. Why are you trying to beat me up, bro? I didn't say it, bro. Last question. Who's the best manager you ever played for? Ooh. That's a good one. Oh, T, you have to ask one more then. How many have you batted up? How many managers have I batted up? Don't ask it that. It depends what you think batted up means to you. Uh, well, listen, Troy, I think you played Who do you think you're talking to like that? There's only one manager I ever batted up. Ever batted up. And his name was um, Ivic, something or other. Some, <laughs> I don't really know his name. But. Ivic. But he was at Watford. I was trying to leave. Uh, they were trying to sell me. I was trying to leave. Didn't happen. I ended up going there. Played Huddersfield away. Bro, we went around the whole. We lost two 0 Didn't put me on. I was on the bench. Didn't put me on. Went around the whole room, shaking hands. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Gets to you and just walks past me. I was like, and you huh. grabbed him. I didn't have to grab him. You vocally grabbed him. I just went, oi. Put me out. Yeah, vocally. Jesus. Man gave him the click. Hey, that's what I did to the man. Let's roll. You want to ignore me when you say thank you to everybody else? In front of everyone else as oh, well. Oh, okay. No yeah. problem. Hey, right, come here. And when he came, it was like, I know you're Eastern European. You might think you're tough, but bro, I'll break you in half. Vladimir Ivic. Ivic, know what you're on. He, he did. Know, bro. He did. Chase you, bro. He did four months at um, Watford. Watford. That's long. That's long. Bro, day. let me let me explain this to you. Yeah, we played Huddersfield away when he got sacked. I never came on. All the, the lads are like. I'm like, yeah, let him, let him do his thing, get it. He'll be gone soon. I'm literally just cool. He does that. Back him up now. I've got my car taken because I've got um, my boy got married on the same day, so I need to go from Huddersfield straight back, celebrate with the boys. I get in the car, turn tour sport on. If it's just an interview, yeah, we've got players that don't want to be here. Troy Deedy is the perfect example of that. I'm like, yo, I just. I just asked my man, is there a problem? And he panicked. No, he's now talk about sport. the talk sport saying Tying this. Tying to the country, tell him, oh, man. Oh, okay. Yeah, joke, Imagine man. he gets sacked an hour later. Ah. Yes. Now, Stinks. Can you imagine what the whole of Watford thinks? Stinks. Troy's the problem. Yeah, you, you got him oh. sacked. Yeah. So now Watford are like, Troy, please don't say nothing. Don't do this. I'll just say, listen, you're in a situation here. Either you speak or I'll speak. Whichever way you want to do, two hours later, Watford put a thing out. Troy's not the problem. He was the problem. Still. Gone. Never yeah. spoke about it again. Gone. That's a true up, you know, because he just went, you know what? I know I'm fired. I'm taking one person That's down. <laughs> <laughs> to get fired and get a plus one is crazy, though. That's <laughs> nuts. <laughs> yeah, he tried it. Try bring a man downstairs with him, man. And just, to, just finally, quickly, just the best. Best manager. Zola? The best manager. Uh, for me, would have been, it's like free. Daishi made me a pro. Ooh. Sean, big Cause, Sean. Because Daishi tried to break me. <sighs> I got a my bad Sean Daishi. You play? Do you play with him as well? Was he? Was he? Ain't that old? <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. I was thinking, what Sean Daishi? My bad man, a real old man. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I'm just. He's he's the other player I see in the yellow shirt. Is Daishi? Yeah, so I'm trying yeah, to figure yeah. out. He was assistant manager with a, a sign under Malky Makaya, but bro, I went from 180 pound a week Mackay. to five bags a week. Bro, for where I'm from, I just bought my mum's house at that time for 50 grand. So, like, it was like 10 weeks work, man, could pattern the whole. Yeah, neat, you know what I mean? Neatly. In my mum, that's a mansion. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I had. I had to, nah, bro, that's Birmingham. That's Five different. more, 10 more weeks, you would have bought Brum. <laughs> <laughs> my, whole block, my, whole block, my whole block would have been different. <laughs> These times at the Malky, yeah. Man was, man, I was out. No jokes, no cap. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Tuesday. I was out. Tuesday was shooting at night. My boy DJ Silk. Baddest in, Birm in Birmingham and oh, the UK. So he's still doing his no, thing now. Silk's my guy. Yeah. He was on Tuesday and Sunday. Tuesday, bro, used to be Champions League nights. 
But if you got there between seven and ten, it was one pound a drink. Jesus Christ. Hey, Birmingham is mad. <laughs> one pound a drink? So I never used to come into Watford on a Monday. I think I had 42 cats died, 16 aunties. <laughs> Any, you know what I'm saying? Any reason yeah, to not be in, up, I was, I was, that was me. Daishi hated, man. Because you used to see that I could be good, but I just weren't well, disciplined. Yourself, you know what I mean? Yeah. I weren't disciplined. So imagine now, Malky leaves, he goes to Cardiff. First of July, Sean Daishi announced, oh my God. My, that's my nemesis. You could have given it to Paddington Bear, bro. Do you know what I mean? I'd have got on better with this guy. And I was like, Anyway, we go and Daishi still does it to this day. He has a day that's called Gaffer's Day. He has two of them over preseason. No heart rate, no um, GPS. He's just going to set what we're doing. So anyway, we go to South of France. I ain't drinking at this point because he already told me, like, I want to sell you. You're a yeah. problem, bro. Like, I can't have you around. But you're untrustworthy, rare, te, te. And this story, if I'm lying, Daishi will tell you, I, I swear on my kids and my dad, everything that I love, this is true. So we go, he goes, right lads, it's uh, Gaffer's Day. I'm like, all right, calm. Jump south of France, go on the beach. Man, I'm just jogging. He sees a pier, 20 sprints. Man, do the sprints. I right, keep jogging. He sees the water, 10 lengths. Go out to the, you know, the, 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 the dotted thing. I don't yeah, know the school. The rope, whatever it is. The yeah. rope, yeah. Yeah. Out to that there about 10 times. Man, you're wet now. Let's keep jogging. Bro, this goes on for an hour and 45 minutes. Mm -mm. He's trying to break, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. But he said at the start, if you quit, you're just gone. put a transfer request in. Get to the car park. There's a full hit circuit. You know people don't do a hit now, CrossFit. Mm. This was 2011. Bro, there's a full circuit set up in the car park. I got the 10K dumbbell, I swear to God on my life, yeah, I'm thinking, if I just hit my man with this, I could go home. <laughs> That's all I'm thinking, because he's like, he's, because he, he didn't trust me from the Malky days, yeah, he's on, man. So he's like, in your shot, you're yeah. gonna quit, you're gonna quit, and I'm like, nah, can't let this guy win. But the more I'm lifting, the more I'm like, this guy, who cares what this guy thinks? I'll just go back to Hales Owen, bro. And it's his it's voice is jarring as well, yeah, so. He'd be like, you're gonna quit, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you're gonna quit right now. <laughs> Bro, we get on the beach. He's like, Troy, you gonna quit? I swear on my life, I went, F you, bro. Straight to the, F you. Do what you gotta do. Maps is pinching me. Eustace is pinching me. Shut up, just take it. Face the water. I thought, here we go. 10, ten more swims of this. He goes, it bear in mind, at this point, it's raining as well, by the way. I didn't even give you that. You know when the sand gets raining. heavy, heavy? Oh, it's raining. Yeah, the sand's a, the sand sand's a heavy. Madness. We're outside. I got sand in, my, in places it shouldn't even be, bro. Like, mm. and I would agree. I love Sean, and he knows I love him. I love Wolney. I love Tony. I got this ginger you shouting at me. I'm 21. Like, how can you talk to me like that? Do you know what I'm saying, bro? <laughs> I'm like, terrible. at my school, we would have battered you, bro, <laughs> and made you do homework, and you're talking <laughs> to me like I'm a <laughs> idiot. I get beat up and do homework. But this is this was the mentality, and do you know what I always say, yeah, bro. He put me in a position to be a professional, similarly to what you said earlier, because he was like, I don't care how tough you are, you want to be in this, swallow your pride, get on board, follow instruction. So anyway, he says, turn, face the water, running. We all run in, and he goes, it's finished. It was two hours and fifty-four minutes. Bro, at this age right now, with the mentality I've got, I could not do that again. But he just went, none of you's quit. You'll be all right. Mm, just go. Seize and he just starts. made it go. But then, sorry, that was that for the for the pro. Zola made me a player. So I come out of jail. October. I come out of jail in October. Bear in mind, I missed all the preseason. And I come out and I'm, I'm on tag. Zola takes over. We got 48 players. My first day. 48 players. Bro, when I walked in, I'm on tag. Afro tick. I ain't had a trip for four months. Afro's tick. I'm wham. <laughs> We've been doing 300 press ups a day. I work in the gym, in the jail. I'm running, I'm lifting. I'm, I'm with Roadman from yeah. Liverpool, Manchester. This is my. Cold, we're just getting big. Yeah. And then the last week. 
Tyson Fury's dad came in, John. Oh, mad. Started teaching man how to box. The man them that I met in Warrington, you know who you are, because I still keep in contact. They were from so many different places in the world. They were like, you're an ugly eater, you know? <laughs> Because man, then I know trim, teeth were backwards. They thought I was miles. Well, they, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Maybe I'm the best looking guy on YouTube, bro. <laughs> got him back, man. It's, it's I got you back. That we're cool. That we're cool. No, but my point, what I'm saying is, like, they all looked at me like I know trim. I'm all over the place, and because man was locked up, and I never really got a chance for the the money to 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 process because I didn't get my pin and all of that, bro. I'm eating like whatever. They give him man, so the first night in jail, I got a full bag of onions. What? Cooked onions. Nah, literally, it's just... Bro, you man think it's calm, bro. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, I, did, I, I, I got took for an idiot, no problem. Anyway, we go there, and we're doing what we're doing, where tete. I can now come to, to Watford when I get released. I go into work, Jab Franco's all a five foot two. I'm six foot jacked now with a big afro. With, I, I had a, now how black I was, bro, I had to pick the med. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know when I think Geordie, about it? Geordie. Yeah, yeah, like that. Geordie, yeah. But he's got he's got the he's got the little trim. I'm talking wild. Rapid, yeah, 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 yeah. Wild. Can't find the pick. Jan Franco, to be fair to him, he saved my career. And I'll always give him credit. Jan Franco was like, I played West Ham away at Upton Park, the old West Ham. Mm. And I scored. We lost 2 1, but I scored. He was like, I was at the game. You're a handful. I can I can work with you. I was like, all right, cool. But he was like, Troy, you gotta be fit in ten days. Ten days. Bear in mind, I, I released on a Wednesday. Go into this QPR game, played sixty minutes, scored. We won one nil. Saturday, he's like, "Look, you're gonna come on." Bear in mind, I got my tag on as well, T. So I got my tag on. He's like, "You're gonna play. You're gonna come on. Don't wear the vest." So when I came home, I had warrant to jail, unit C. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, you take that off, man. They were like. Don't wear the vest. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna wear the vest. Cause you don't understand, the man that are in jail that still got a year left, I, I said to them, to man. Yeah. when I come home, I got you, I got you covered. Got yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, of course. So I played Bristol City at home, I came out for 15 minutes, wore the vest, took the top off, had that, gets pictured everywhere. The next game, he's like, one of the strikers got injured, I played Huddersfield uh, away. It's like, you're not fit. Uh, no choice but to play, yeah. We had four injuries at the time. But no choice but to play. Give me an hour. Huddersfield away. We win 3-2. I scored two. Scored a winner in the 98th minute. God's work. Done. 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 That, se that's, that season, I go from... my Before that, the only goals I scored was 12 goals. After that, I scored 20. I scored 25. I scored 21. We get promoted. But all that came from Zola sitting and working with me and going... We did this shooting drill and I used to blast the ball all the time. Big steps of stuff and like, you know, bro, you know, yeah, man, smack, one, that. smack it every time. So one in 10 would hit the target. Four in 10 would go close. The rest would go everywhere. That's me. You know, <laughs> and he went to me, he was like, bro, for real, Troy, we need to work on this because you're like Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. And you, you're not trying to hear that, innit? No, what do you mean? You're trying to hear that. You just said Jimmy, Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. Hasselbank. And Troy, the I same thought you, I thought you thought you were slim, though. No, 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 no. I, I was slimmer than Jimmy. Jimmy's got yeah, no, big legs. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jimmy's my man, guy. Man, I'm more of a... But he used to hit everything. And he was like, it. what I need yeah. you to do is just do this drill. You're not going to like it. It's boring. So every day, bro, from September until March, every day, that's the goal. Six yard line. Score, score, side foot, side foot, laces, laces. But I had to hit the side netting. Mm -hmm. Then we went to the penalty spot, same thing. Then we went to the 18 yard box, same thing. Got outside, I used to just lace it. He said, like, what are you doing? Yeah. It's a pass, it's a 20 yard pass, which you mean you can't pass the ball there? Yeah. Nah, but we're at the box, we got a, cause they keep, no, no, no. Every day, bro. And my goals went from 12 to 21, to, 20, to 25, mm -hmm. to 20. And he was just like, Slow down. And that's what Jab Franco. So the answer to your question is Daishi, Daishi plus Zola. Zola. And when and, and the metaphor is when all you have is a hammer, everything every problem looks like a nail. But mm. obviously when you got a full No, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> that's my 
my next caption. You Googled still. that, though. No. <laughs> no, the laptop's out. You Googled that. <laughs> that's a, that's no, a, no, yeah. Let him no, I'm going to let him know. Let him know. I feel like Gianfranco Zola would have said that. You just probably don't remember because he had Italian wisdom. No, no, but and... you, see, you see with Gianfranco, yeah. It, you know how many wars me and him went to? Like, because he's so... Soft is the wrong word, but he, he's, he's got a hard interior, but he was so, like... Tolerant. Like. Football was just... Just play, yeah, yeah, like, just go, just, just like, go and do yourself, your fan. thing. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, bro, I never forget it. We went to Italy. We just lost in the playoff final to Palace. We go and have preseason in Italy, and we're on this plane, and me and him are just we're just chopping it up, and he's and bro, when I say every person on the flight and every flight attendant was like, "Your job, Franco. Can I get a picture?" And he took a picture with every single one, and I was literally at the last one as we were getting off. I was like, "How many?" you off bro you know what he said and i live by this this day troy there'll be a day to forget you mm. give him five seconds mm. and i was like oh that's cold but that is the power of a great manager troy dini's moving into coaching eventually he will be a great manager but that is all we got time for i feel like t kind of cut it short I'll be honest. <laughs> I feel like there were so many questions. The team was like, I'm not editing this. Uh, no, I'm not, I don't even edit it. I, I feel bad for the editor, but I've got pages more questions. No, no, that I, I apologize. Got I chat, two coming I too much. Nah, part two, much. part two. Filthy at five. We part dot seven. Com, uh, Dini Talks on YouTube now. Yeah, forget Dini Talks. That's my team, but. No, no, Dini Talks. No, no, no. Let me land. What do you mean let, let me land. land. Let me land. Let me land. Let me land. What I will say is. DD Talks is our team. We're not sport. We're not lifestyle. We're just the person behind the name. So we're trying to figure our thing out. It's good. It's enjoyable. Check them all out. We have big names and it's about based on respect. What I will say is for the culture, for sport, for what you man are doing, this is the biggest thing I could be on. And what I will say to end this on, I ain't doing no more interviews for the next year. Subscribe to the channel. The greatest episode of Filthy Five ever. Come on! Ever. 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 Ever.